Um, and then I had to go do some stuff. And now I'm here. It's gonna be a weird week this week, chat. This is a fucking banger, this one, eh? This is an absolute banger. Um, we wanna just listen to, like, some, uh, music off. Music... Wanna just listen to some Minecraft music? You think that's gonna be too loud? What, like, 15%? This jazz is just too much. It's gonna drive me nuts today. Um, you probably hear my dryer as well. Um, listen, um, this week's a bit of a weird one because, um, my kids are back to school. I live in a place where COVID is, uh, is a threat, but, um, they've opened the schools because the number of cases has gone down significantly over the uh, Christmas break. So schools are back. Um, but my wife is uh, pregnant and, um, it's cold outside and they're doing like this fucking staged release of children from the school. So my daughter finishes at 2.40. My son finishes at 2.50. So by the time I pick him up, pick her up, sorry, we got to wait for like 10 minutes outside for my son to be let out. So, uh, so I got to do all the pickups this week, or at least I've offered to do all the pickups this week. Um, and, uh, part of the reason why I offered to do all the pickups this week is because it's cold, but also we're doing a half we lobby every day this week, except for Friday, but possibly even Friday, um, if, uh, if it's not already scheduled. So today, tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, um, and it's just too much among us to do a morning lobby and then the afternoon lobby as well. And because I've already committed to them, I'm, I'm just going to do them. But I think, I think some of the other people in our morning lobbies are organizing morning lobbies this week that I'm not going to be in. Although I might do one on Wednesday, I'm not sure. Um, but it means that I can start sort of uh, earlier afternoon. Because, again, I want to get some solo time in as well. I mean, I, I've gone from being like a 100% a solo streamer to like now having like a million people to do collabs with and stuff. So I think we just got to like find a balance. I keep saying this, but... So I thought this morning or this afternoon for a couple of hours at least we'll play a bit of Minecraft. Um, I got a server set up for the dad server. So far, we've got uh, Dan, Giesling, Northern Lion, and Limmy uh, all uh, in a Discord ready to go. It's going to be something that's on all the time. You might see them do stuff on it solo. You might see them do stuff on it together. Who knows? Let's just see what happens with it. It's ready. It's ready to rock and roll. And we've got a whitelist set up for people. So it's just up to people to log in and do stuff with it. And hopefully we can do some collaborative stuff together as well. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but uh, I want to start setting some stuff up on it. And we'll use it just as a, a place to start building a whole bunch of stuff. I want to get like a mine uh, built. And I want to get it somewhat automated so that I can send resources up to the top for my, not only myself, but for other people. Um, to do uh, to do stuff with as well, right? Afternoon sips. Just trying to be nice. Enjoyed watching you rat with JP and Flax. Hey, I've thanks. I've been watching Raised by Wolves, ex producer Ridley Scott and Feet. Yeah. Ragnar from Vikings, not playing Ragnar. A bit sci fi, new colony sort of show. Oh, cool. Enjoying it, think you might too. Less okay. than three. Raised by Wolves. Right, okay. Uh, Psycho 088. I'll check it out. Thanks for the thousand bits as well. That sounds good. I've been watching The Expanse, which I've been enjoying. Um, I'm up to the part in season two where uh, Miller is kind of stranded on Eros, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, but then they, they try to ram Eros with that big church ship, and it misses. That's the episode I just watched. So, um, it's not spoilers that season two came out like 10 years ago. Spoilers. Come on, chat. Get over it. My wife is pregnant again. Yeah, it is. Um, so listen, so this is, uh, this is the, this is the dadcraft server. Um, I'm going to have to go pick up my kids in about an hour and a half. I'll be gone for about 20 minutes. And then when I get back, we'll have another hour or so to carry on. Uh, with this, and then we'll do some Among Us at 4 o'clock with uh, Hafu and all those guys, Steve and Wolf and uh, the, the rest of the gang, you know? That's the plan for today, okay? And then probably some, some Tarky Warky in the evening. 
Oh, I bought a uh, scav junk box as well, which is pretty good. Dadcraft, a Minecraft server. Let's connect. It is... It's a fresh server. It's nighttime. It's pouring rain. This is, uh, this is what, this is what we've got. This is where we could start. Now, I don't know if we want to actually start here. We could start here. But I'm too scared to go down. I've also got death counters enabled. Um, I put a command into the server console so that when you press tab, you can see how many times you've died. It's not hardcore because it's survival multiplayer, right? So the server will be on all the time if we get some automation going. So like if, say, we get a kelp farm going, that shit's just going to tick over all night, every night while we're gone. And we're just going to have a ton of kelp. You know what I mean? I watched the clip of Sid Blankly murdering Ravs as he turns around the doorway on an hourly basis. I'm fucking shredded from laughing so goddamn hard. <clears throat> goddamn, that was funny, yeah. That was a really funny one. Oh, chunks won't load? Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. We're not going to automate that much stuff, right? We can't really automate that much stuff, I don't think, because um, we don't want the server to crash. Seems like a good server, though. Got a pretty good deal on it. Oh, we got some lava down there. Look, let's grab some wood and get going here. Unlock some achieves. Vanilla soft core, yeah. Vanilla soft core multiplayer, though. There's going to be other people on this server that will be able to um, help build stuff, and they can help us likewise build stuff as well. So I think that'll be kind of cool. Um, let's just get ourselves established here. Let's get a nice crafting chest going. Get a couple of sticks. Um, let's get an axe. Um, and let's get a, a pickaxe as well. And then let's uh, murder this fool. And let's murder this guy too. Thank you. We'll take their um, we'll take their wolves, their bombs, and their guns, and. Um, the rest is Hi Dad. History. Can you say to my friend Caitlin please? Thank you. Less than um, three. Can I say Kate Caitlin please to your friend? Thank you so much, uh, Anime Angel09. Thanks for the twenty bucks. I appreciate it. Holy crap. I hope that was what you wanted me to say to Caitlin. Um uh, the message literally was Hi Dad, can you say to my friend Caitlin please? Caitlin, please. Caitlin Please. Oh. Looks like we had some more some more company. Alright, I'm just gonna build right where I've spawned. Look, we've got like this hill. We got some lava next door. We could build like some sort of forge or something. Um, equally we could just dump some water on that bitch and get some obsidian straight away. We'll have to go and get some diamandes eventually. Uh, let's get uh, let's get a mine going for the for the boys, right? Now, I say that this is a dad server, but mums are welcome too, okay? But it's kind of going to be like a mutuals thing, all right? Like, I, I just want, like, people I know on it. Um, I mean, maybe people I don't know as well, but, like, we, we, want, we want, like, people who are, like, creating content, right? Um, that we know, or that we, we, can, we know from associations or whatever, right? That's the kind of people. If you can think of other dads and mums who might want a safe place to build 2D art in Minecraft where they won't be judged, tell them to get in touch with me. I'll add them. They can join this. They can hang out. It'll be good fun. Can your dad be on the server? I don't know. Is your dad... Um, does, your, does your dad play Tarkov? You're doing great, dad. Dodger can come and play if she wants. Sure. Recent content. Never expected to have two old as Canadian dads as an adult, but I'm loving Strippin it. Strippin' as well, he's also, a dad. Also, can you tell Caitlin to get fucked? To underscore? If you impregnate, impregnante a woman, can I join Harry? Are you planning on doing that? Because uh, that's a big move. That's a big 2021 power move, if you are. Hey, dad, been watching since You're thinking I about was it? 10 years old, and now I'm days away from moving cross-country to start college. Thanks for the laughs and lots of love. Hey, um, Sipsy Pretty Boy, thanks for the 10. Appreciate it. And Barrel Juice, thanks for the 1,500 bits as well. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. My hill is, is clearing out nicely here. It's a little bit of a drop down there. I don't know if I want to kill the, uh, 
I, I don't know if I want to kill the cow just yet. Um, but we'll see. Sorry, I'm just giving a big thumbs up to my wife who's just gotten back. A huge thumbs up. A huge thumbs up for some... It was, it was worth it. The thumbs up, definitely worth it, chat. Just in case you're wondering. I want to clear out all of the trees up here so that I can build something up here. And I uh, also want to get some stone so I can upgrade my tools. It's a fresh start. Where am I putting that thumb? Right into my P P hole. My P P my P P hole. My P P. Um, I'm not really actually. Okay. Welcome to my mind. Let's grab some stone here so we can make some better tools. Does Simon count as a dad from the Oggs cast? I don't, I don't know. Does he have any kids? Does he understand what it means to be uh, an actual dad? Maybe only he can answer that question. I don't know. Does he know what's involved? Probably not. A cat dad. Gatekeeper of daddom. Yeah, that's right. I'm very judgmental. I am a very judgmental dad. Um, okay, let's see. Let's get. Uh, whoops. You're doing great, dad. Uh, What's whoops. this? The Sipsky haunting on Hildert House. Yep. So far, yep. Okay, we now have better tools. Oh, I tell you what. Let's also get this sort of tool here. Boom unshovel um, and then we can eat some apples if we need them as well right Let's collect some dirt uh, do we want to level off the top of this mountain and build on here or do we want to try to like just get rid of this mountain altogether and sort of hollow out this like make a valley it's a lot of work to do it but I don't really want to just build my house on top of a on top of a hill, you know? You can't build your base in spawn. Yeah, yeah, well, I want to... I think this hill is kind of like the spawn, so I want to create a nice area for people to spawn in, too. It'll be like our village center. It's... This server is going to be dads playing on it that may, may or may not have ever played Minecraft, right? So we need them to spawn into a safe place. I feel like I've played enough Minecraft to know the kind of things that people want in a server, right? The kind of safety mechanisms they want. So I'm going to clear this whole thing out and then I'm going to build a really nice town square. Or at least at least make some space for us to build a nice town square out of like gold and marble and like all the other nice resources that we're going to find. Some diamond blocks and shit. You know what I mean? Is Pedguin invited? He's a dad. Yeah, he can he can join for sure. He's a dad. That's a good that's a good shout actually. I forgot that Pedguin was a dad. Yeah, let's get him in if he wants. We could totally dad it up here. We want to keep it like themed around dads, you know. We want we're going for like a dad theme on this one. We're not inclusive gamers. What about James Buckley? Hey, if James Buckley is ready to bury the hatchet and wants to join this Minecraft server with some other dads, so be it. Are there are we gonna make any exceptions to the to the dad rule, do you think? Like what do you think? Should we let some other people on, like friends of dads? Like a plus one sort of system? Dads and friends of dads? No. <laughs> Okay, fine, chat. Do a, maybe do a poll, chat. Do a poll. Dads, just dads, or dads plus one will be the poll option, okay? Maybe a dad can have a plus one. Another cool gamer dad friend that one of the dads might want to welcome into the fold.
What if Ravs has children? I don't think he has any right now. Pretty sure he doesn't have any. Last I checked, no kids for that guy. Not even on the cards as far as I can tell. Ravs is your dad. Right, okay. We're going to need to do a DNA test then. We can't just have these accusations flying around like crazy, right? That he knows of. That's a good point. Good point. I'm going to need plenty more shovels. So I'll make like three more. Just replace them as I need them. This is not modded. This is just uh, vanilla survival. It's just a fun place for dads to build stuff. It's nothing, nothing fancy. No mods. Just vanilla Minecraft with a couple of dads who may or may not have ever played Minecraft before. Limmy wants to join and make murder machines in some remote corner of the world eventually when he's done with Rust or whatever. That's cool. You know what I mean? That it's it's that's the kind of thing we're looking for. We just want a place for dads to create content together. Maybe have some nice little lovely gentle chants with each other. Get to know each other better, you know? It's kind of like imagine it's like a Tupperware party Let's that your mom goes to. Bring their children on the server and as Wolf is basically your daughter, she could join. You sent I don't... her to bed last week and she follows your <laughs> microwave creed. Also, it's that true. small Lebanese child you have might be allowed. True. You know, that's a good point, actually. But are we, maybe we can have, like, one day where we can open it up to, to kids, like a shadow day, you know? Like, this is dad's safe place, but every once in a while we just open it up. So that, the, so that, that all the dads can show off their cool contraptions, their crazy contraptions to all their kids and stuff. Sips you pretty boy, thanks for the ten bucks. I think that's pretty cool, actually. Wait, what about Junkyard? He's a dad, right? Isn't he a dad? Dan TDM is a dad. Maybe we can get him to join. Maybe he was maybe he's looking for a vanilla dad server like this. Hey? We played Among Us with him. Maybe he wants to join this dad server and just get his Minecraft on in a major way. Strippin is a dad, you're right. We got there's mums out there too, right? Dodger is a mum. There's a lot more dads on Twitch than there are mums, I want to say. Or maybe I'm just unaware of, uh, of, of Twitch mums. Are there any Twitch mums out there? No, I'm not being sexist. I mean, I, this is just in my experience. Limited experience, I should say. Only one you can think of is Fem Steph. Right, tell Fem Steph if she wants a fun place to hang out with other parents in Minecraft. You know, it's a it's it's an educational space as well, I should say. And the education comes from all of our kids probably play this game, and I feel like if your kids into something, you should just be just as into it, right? So that you know what they're doing, and you can guide them when they need some guidance. NL's wife? Oh, yeah. Uh, is it Kate? Well, she can join as well. That's right. You're right. She's She streams and she's a mum. She's more than welcome then. What is dadcraft? It's just Minecraft. Minecraft for dads. <laughs> I should call it parentcraft, really. It doesn't have the same ring, though, does it? Does my mum play? No, no. She doesn't know anything about this game. She really doesn't know shit about Minecraft. She's heard of it, but I don't think she's ever played it. Do you know what my mom plays? She plays like Facebook games. She plays um, she plays like Farmville and shit like that. Every time I see her, she's always got like fucking Plants vs Zombies or some some tablet game. Yeah. Well, she's the right demographic for that shit, isn't she? Like sixty-year-old, sixty-year-old moms, right? That's who that's who does it should make a bed so that I can skip the night right before I die uh, Do I don't have enough wool actually? All right, we're in for it. Uh, let me get some more uh, sticks made and Then let me make at least a sword that I can fend off the baddies with it's gonna be a rough night. I think It's gonna be a lot of bad guys Where do you think the safest place is to be where stuff won't spawn near the lava? I don't have any coal or anything yet. I guess I could make, um, 
Oh, I have a bunch of cobble. Maybe I should make, start making some charcoal. I can make torches, right? That would be good. Okay, let's get some of this going. We just need one charcoal and then we're ready to go. I mean, there's a lot of trees around here. We're going to clear cut this whole area. Um, but we'll replant as well as we go. So we do have some saplings, right? Torchy warchies. Absolutely wootly. Now that's what I'm talking, walking about. Okay, well, let's make a whole bunch of this charcoal then, and then we can carry on with our excavations. We're going to have to clear out that side too, but let's just get the bulk of this done. I think this is a good job for us to do today, actually. Oh, Where is he? Let's do some, <laughs> some crafty wafties. I'm begging for some... I think we want to get a farm set up soon, too. Okay, let's get this on here. Let's get that in there, too. Let's pick up this egg. Let's not kill this chicken, because he can give us some more food. Right? There's a, there's a creeper over there. We might die. I hear a spider as well. It's down there. Was um maybe we do need to set up like a temporary shack or find another sheep and then at least I can make a bed. There's a couple of cows up here. Uh, maybe I can find another. Oh, what was that noise? We're right next to a swamp. Just disgusting. That is disgusting. What difficulty is this? It's just normal. It's a ser it's a multiplayer server, so it's whatever. It's just normal. It's not it's not hardcore or anything. We're trying to get we're trying to get some stuff set up for other dads. You know what? It's it is very much if you build it, they will come. That's what we're going for here. We're building so that the other dads come flocking. Once they see that we've got a really cool town square built, they're going to be like, holy crap, why didn't I get even more interested in this server first? But I got to say, these guys are clamoring to get on here. Like, you know when you send messages to people and they ghost you? There's been none of that. Not even one ghost. All these guys, I send messages like over to them, bam, straight back. Can't wait. Can't wait to get the party started, Sips. God damn, you're doing this great thing for us and we'll never forget it, you know? Build a barbecue. Build a garage for all of our Ferraris as well, am I right? Hope you end up using that Lapua you got from me yesterday on Tarkov. Cadences. Oh my god, man. I'm s I, I, I feel like... You're such a good sport, man. You're, you're, a, you're a much better person than me. If, I, if that was me, holy crap, I would have been swearing so fucking much. Like, when people kill me in any video game, I get really salty. You took that so well. Holy shit. Um, guys, I was playing some uh, Tarkov. Say hi to Cadences, by the way. He's also a streamer. Plays some Tarky Warky. I was playing with JP last night. Um, just like in the evening. I wasn't streaming or anything. Um, but JP was. And we did a couple of raids, and uh, we had like a, we had some bad luck, you know, we were like, actually JP did pretty good, he made a kind of like a sweaty gun, I say sweaty gun, uh, Cadences here has like 3 million bucks worth of uh, gear on, um, JP made a gun that costs like, uh, like 25 grand or something, which is for me a lot, anyway, we were playing kind of like fast, you know, we were shooting scavs and stuff, you know, just a couple of players out there, you know, getting dirty, having some fun, you know, dropping some tracks and whatever. And, um, and you know, one of us would die and, you know, we were just like trying to get the, we basically we were just trying to get that dorms quest done, you know, in 206 for the water. Because uh, JP had it and it, you know, you finish that and then unlock some more stuff, right? So we finally get a good spawn. And we make our way to dorms, and we hear some shit going down. 
But instead of just going in and blindly engaging, we thought for once, you know what? Let's just take it easy. Let's just see how it plays out, see what happens, right? Which is, you know, probably how you should be playing Tarkov realistically. We just don't. Um, so we're outside or out back, two story dorms, just hiding in some bushes, giving each other some like intel and locations. We can hear a couple of people in two story fighting, whatever. And uh, we see this dude, uh, it's Cadences, by the way, who's in the chat right now. We see him zip in to dorms very quickly. He runs right past us, so we're like, okay, shit, you know, I guess we got, like, a pretty good spot here, or at least we're in a dumb enough spot that nobody thinks to look. Whatever. So he runs in, so we're like, okay, let's just see what happens. Like, he goes in, we hear some shooting, we think he's engaged some other guy that we thought that w it was in there. We, we didn't really know. Um, and then he comes running out the top, down the stairs very quickly, and starts running along the side of the building. And so I line up a shot. I was just using an SKS. Like, I didn't even have a scope on it or anything. I just figured, whatever, I'll take a shot. You know, JP's right here. If he turns around, we can we can hopefully light him up or whatever. Take the shot, boom. Just just domed him. Like, didn't even really mean to. Um, just absolutely knocked him right out. And that was it. Um, but I didn't go loot him straight away because I thought... You know, I don't know what's going on. Maybe there's some other people in there, whatever. So we stayed where we were, scoping it out a little bit. Chucked a couple of grenades into the into dorms, whatever. And um, and then just sort, sort of took our time. Got to the point where it was like, okay, I don't think there's anybody here. Um, so it should be safe to go in. So we went in. And uh, so I went to loot him. And fuck me, man. <laughs> he just had like... He had like killer's armor. He had like one of those 150 grand helmets with the visors. He had this sniper rifle that is just like uh, you can't even buy it on the marketplace. Like I checked the flea market, and the the only person who sells it is Prapper. Like when you get him to like level three or something, um, and even that costs like 250 grand. He had this like tweaked out pistol and everything. So I took it all, but I was starving at this point and taking damage. Um, and we couldn't find any food in dorms, so it was like a bit of a clencher. Luckily, the dorms, um, car was up, and ready to go. So we go there, and, and luckily JP carries a lot of cash around with him as well, because I didn't have any money. So I was dying, um, bleeding out because of hunger, and, uh, I had no money, and he had to drop some money on the ground, had to pick it up, and then when I engaged the car, there was like five seconds left for e extract. And then I got out with all that, all that stuff. And all I've done with it so far is just put it in a bag. <laughs> it's like, it's like my own little trophy room of, of that time. I got a lucky shot on somebody I had no business killing. Yeah. Just a huge rant forever. Yeah. Everyone was telling me it's your trophy gun now. Yeah. I don't even know what to do with it. Like, is, is it, should I sell it? Do you want it back? I mean, if you want, we can, like, team up and I'll, I'll drop it for you. Like I said, I had no business killing you there. Like, I can at least be a sport in that sense. If you want it back. Use it. Oh, my God. I'm too scared to use it. I don't even normally have gear fear. Like, I don't even really normally care about that. But that gun, I don't want to do anything with it. Like, I'm too scared to lose it. Like, it's a really good one. Or it seems really good anyway. Use it on him. <laughs> Wait, spawn in with him and then just just blow his blow his dome right off the minute we get in. Hey, here's your gun. Bang. No, that's not very nice, Chad. I would never do that. I would never do that. VIP him. Yeah, okay. Hang on a second. I will. Um, listen, I well, let me do it after. Let me build a house because I don't want something creeping BDW, up on me. There's I know a creep you played Tarkov this morning while so saying you were doing dad stuff, you filthy liar slash. I did. I did it before my dad's man. stuff. Next I, time, I don't stream with that angry bald vapor guy. Listen, Long you know lots what? of love. You know what? Actually, I think he thinks that I'm angry now. I've heard to on the underscore? grapevine that he doesn't even like gaming with me anymore because of how angry I got at golf that one time. To be fair, my controller was broken, and it was frustrating. I mean, that is true, yeah. Well, it happens, I guess. Flax is, Flax is the only person who's allowed to get unreasonably angry at video games. If you do it around him, he's like, oh, who is this trash can of a person getting angry at a video game? You know what I mean? Who's on the server? Right now, nobody. 
VIP him, but not Howieak? Listen, I'm, I'm doing it right now, chat, okay? Whether I die or not, it doesn't matter. We're not even playing hardcore, right? I'm going to do it right now. Okay, let's see. So we want to go into creator dashboard, uh, community, roles manager, cadences. By the way, if you want to watch somebody who's uh, probably pretty good at, um, at Tarky Warky, go watch cadences next time he streams because I think he's he seemed to he was like level 46 and he had really good gear and he probably knows how to use that good gear as well so maybe somebody for you to watch I'll also check it out okay I promise um thanks so much man thanks for being such a good um a good support about it um and uh and so and sorry it went down that way you know don't VIP you when when rust OTV Man, I don't even know how to get on it, Al Alpatur. Like, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm. Um, I don't think I'm in the circle. I don't think I'm in the gang. You know? I don't think I can get an invite to that. I don't know anybody over there that can get me an invite. Um, and I, you know, I feel kind of dumb asking for one too. I know DK is in. I saw him tweeting about it. He's got a uh, horse named Egon or something like that. That's really cool. I'm really jealous, but at the same time, I'm, you know, I have some, like, I have some standards. I have some, um, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for here? Decorum? No, not decorum. Um, it's not decorum. I have some, um, Dignity. That's the one I was looking for. Thank you very much, chat. I have some dignity. You know? I wouldn't even say it's pride. I just think it's like... I don't know. It's just kind of awkward asking for things, isn't it? Do you guys find that? You need over 4k subs and active, but also be under the age of 39. Oh, fuck. Well, my metrics are all over the goddamn place in regards to that. Then I don't know what I'm going to do. Dono baiting is fine? Well, yeah, I mean, I only have myself to answer to on that one. I'm not baiting donos from, like, you know, offline TV, am I? Although, maybe I should think about doing that. I don't know if any of them will bite, though. Um, but, yeah, anyway. Uh, like, I can try, I guess, but I just don't know who to really get in touch Does with. Does the blushing anything. face with the fingers pointing towards each other? Daddy forgot to VIP somebody else. <laughs> Pretty please. Slice you ten bucks. <laughs> the blushing Chat, face. I'm never stopping. I don't <clears throat> care. You get annoyed. Why do you want VIP so bad? Like, to what end? I just use VIP to quickly identify people in the chat that I want to say hi to and stuff. Don't get me wrong. I want to say hi to everybody, but... Some people I want to say hi to more so. You know what I mean? And I don't want to miss them when they're around. What? Come on, chat. You gotta get real here. I mean... What? Ban him for a laugh. No, no. No, he, I think Sips, you pretty boy, is fine. Just the way he is. Hey, Sips. Just had a university you exam. You can't so bad everyone. I feel physically ill. However, watching you stream has helped brighten my day. Keep doing what you do best. Being L a dad. Lilo dot Olel. Thanks for the 10, I appreciate it. And Sipsy Pretty Boy, thanks for the 10 as well. Sipsy Pretty Boy, why do you want to be a VIP so bad? Like, what? what's in it for you? To what end, I ask you? Just a little boost. Just a cool badge and some pride and stuff. Okay, I'll tell you what, Sipsy Pretty Boy. If you, if I ever shoot you in Tarkov and you're wearing three million bucks worth of gear and I feel bad about it, I'll VIP you then, okay? That's a surefire way of getting VIP. <clears throat> yeah? Scammed. You like those odds? I think that's a pretty fair deal. No? To what end does this madness mean? Hey, True Omega, what's up? How you doing? How you liking this um, fucking garbage weather as usual? Just, it's at least it's warming up a little bit, huh? 
Just two dads talking about the weather? Fucking hell yeah. I mean, we are playing Dad Minecraft. We can talk about dad stuff. He to identify who to completely ignore in chat. True. The more you know. That's true, yeah. That's true. When I see one of those green badges, I know. I know there's nothing to be gained. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, am I, though? <clears throat> I mean, I guess I kind of am. Chat, come on. You guys know I love you, right? <clears throat> and I'm not saying that as... I'm not... I'm not an oil painting. You know, I'm not... Hey, I'm not baiting you guys in any way here. I family 17 Ferraris, 10 houses, and a dog. It's Please, true. can I not be given VIP or mod? Swats. I don't want them. Genuinely, I don't want it. Oh, no, it's Ruddus. seriously, Sips, do not give me VIP or mod. Oh, it's thanks. Ruddus. Okay, Ruddus. Also, thanks for getting me into Tarkov again. Oh... It's glorious, isn't it? VIP is God, you gotta to love win. Anyways, enjoy these ten buckaroos. Sloths. Now, see, Sloths is a VIP. And Sloths is a VIP for this reason. Sloths knows about tortoises. See? Now I can quickly check chat to see if Sloths is around. If I have any tortoise questions, he also has tortoises. Okay? You see how this is working now? Kind of? A little bit? You broke my little hearty witty. It started as a laugh, but now it's a legit goal, and I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, I hope you don't find it annoying. No, no. Please I... tell me if you want to stop. Sips, you pretty boy. How could I find somebody throwing ten bucks at me annoying? Ever. It's just not. It's not annoying at all. Trust me. Great. It's great. I think I'm a better businessman than Trump in some ways. Well... I mean, I, let's face it, I don't think Trump was actually that great of a businessman. Self-proclaimed. Let's leave it at that. You know? No? So, yeah, self-proclaimed. Yeah, maybe better than, yeah. <laughs> Let me defuse this. Sips, you pretty boy. If you really want VIP that badly, I'll consider it, okay? Consider this... A long period of gestation for me while I'm chewing it over, okay? I got my eye on you, alright? I want to see good behavior at all times. Courtesy to your fe fellow chat rumors. If there's like a little old lady in here that needs some help figuring out what all the lingo is and stuff, I want to see you at the forefront of that help, okay? I'm talking like Cub Scouts level of... You better get your shit together if you want to get a VIP on this channel, okay? Nobody says chat room, it's 2021. Oh, whatever. I mean, you win some, you lose some, I guess. But, um, you know what I mean? Man, this is such a dad job to be doing, isn't it? I feel like, I feel like we're in our fucking element here. Rambling on about garbage. Fucking talking about the weather to other fellow dads. Doing some hard work. Landscaping. Yeah. Fucking maybe there's some chores and shit around here for me to do like later. Um, maybe there's some like logistical nightmares that need a uh, real hero to step in and solve, you know? Fuck. Gotta mow the grass and shit. Yeah, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Put together a bike. Man, assemble a basketball net out here maybe. Maybe we get some space cleared out here. We can, we'll can. we have some room to assemble the basketball net at long last that's been sitting in the garage for like three years. And I swore that my kids were going to become NBA All-Stars. But now that they're past the age of seven and I can't uh, adequately train them for such an endeavor, uh, it's likely that they'll just be uh, really average, mediocre people when they grow up. I'm cool with that, though, as long as they're happy, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? No. How's the microwave? I don't know. I haven't gotten one. I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm awaiting a microwave, apparently, from Squiddy, who said that he has bought and You're sent me right one. There. Now I'll be the best hacking chat room you've ever seen. Okay. I'll dial up my modem every day to help explain why your CK3 playthrough is naked and why you need to put lava under the crucible. Great. Okay, perfect. That sounds that's the kind of stuff I want to hear, Sips you pretty boy. Well done. Well done. Okay, let's grab some charcoal, but let's leave a little bit of charcoal in here. We're going to need some torches where we're going. Uh, for torches, we're going to need lots of sticks. 
Um, so let's get some sticks and some charcoal and make... Oh, that's great. Now that's great. Now that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get a torch on here. Hey, sips me again. I know I just said I don't want it. But have been made aware if you know a lot about tortoises you get VIP. Yes. Hear me out here. Right. My Pernus nickname is Tortoise because it's small and wrinkly and I know a hell of a lot about that. So right. So DM me. Okay, Ruddus, thanks for the 10 bucks. And uh, consider your application um, being reviewed. We're reviewing your application and we're happy to inform you that in just a couple of days, uh, once I get to the point where I can be bothered talking to you again, I will get back to you and let you know the status on your quest to become a VIP on this channel. Okay, until then, please don't badger me while I'm uh, thinking about this. Don't ask me, don't try to suck up to me either. I got a good radar for that kind of stuff and I don't appreciate it. Um, play your cards right, is what I would say. And uh, this goes for Sips, you pretty boy as well. Play your cards Please right. help. I'm a little old lady and I don't play know what the fuck this key when log champ shit means. Okay. If only there was a VIP around to help me across this street. Oh, hey Sips, I am pretty boy. There I you go. I think I'd rather wait for a professional. Thanks though. There you go, Sips, you pretty boy. That was your, that was your damsel in distress, and it's not looking too good for you, because guess what? She didn't want your help in the end. So, fuck you. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking, but honestly, no, it didn't sound like she wanted any help, though. Um, but maybe she'll want some help after. Baiting out so many donos, holy moly. Yeah, well, this is how the champion does it. They don't call me the master baiter for nothing. Um, they also don't call me that because I masturbate a lot. Let me just tell you that, too, before you get the wrong idea about what I'm talking about here. Um, because I don't, okay? I've uh, given up watching porn. I don't even watch it anymore. And I haven't done for some time. Check my uh, ISP logs if you don't believe. Don't check my ISP logs for goodness sake, chat. Jesus Christ. Creeper death incoming. Nah, nah. What are you talking about? We'll hear him a mile away. I got fucking perfect ears. We're going to clear out these trees and stuff. We're going to get this village square going. You know what's going to be really good when some other dads join? They're going to want to do jobs like this. Clearing out a mountain? Holy shit. If you tell a dad, can you please clear that mountain over there? Boom. They're on it. We got plenty of mountains around here to clear. We want to make this, uh, we're, this, we're creating a flat earth society, quite literally, uh, because we just want to flatten this whole area out. We need some farmlands, we need everything, right? Have all the dads been chosen? A select few, yeah, but there's always, uh, scope for more dads, you know? There's, uh, there's more scope for, for more dads. If somebody spawns into the world right now, chat... Will they spawn up in the air and fall down and die? Or will it just find the closest land to the spawn? What am I setting up right now? I'm clearing out a space for, or a safe spawn for other dads to uh, join the server when they're ready. I'm going to make like a little bit of a, like a town, a town center. I might even make it a circle because I think that would look kind of cool. Maybe make a, like a big fountain or something. Eventually, I think like we could make some really cool shit together. So I want to make like some, you know, I want to clear out some some big spaces for this stuff. No, no, not a big dome. Not a dome yet. No, no. We're not. That's not the first thing we're building. We've already built a dome, Chad. Okay, get over it. We're not building another one. That's too much. It's too much dome. No, maybe this time I'm thinking, like, we could build a centrifuge or something. Something cool. What about, like, a round tower? You are currently tower. subscribed to VIP begging requests. To stop, please text Donobate to 7777. Oh, my God. How have I managed to cultivate this culture? VIP bot, thanks for the 10 bucks. And also, G Buttersnaps, thanks for the 10 bucks. And Ruddus, thanks for the 10 bucks as well. I don't know why you guys give me money, honestly. But I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. 
Uh, Slippery Ryan, thanks for the 10 gift subs as well. Holy crap. Make sure you say thanks to Slippery Ryan, chat. He just uh, gifted you a whole bunch of subs. You don't want to join because you're too busy doing pre-dad stuff. Oh my god, good luck. I think pre-dad stuff is worse than just legitimate dad stuff, you know? Hi, Do with Sips. some iron. I'm an old lady that wanted to cross the street. Right. I asked Sips I ooh pretty boy for help, but right. he just threw me in front of an oncoming bus while oh. yelling, piss off you old pepega hag. Ooh. It all wasn't very poke champ. No, that I'd doesn't... suggest a ban instead of VIP. That does not sound PogChamp at all. Um, what PogChamp are we talking about here, in, in actual fact? Like, are we talking about the new PogChamp or the old one? Are we talking about the new format for PogChamps? Where there's like a new PogChamp every day, or...? One of the other dads will build the dome for me. Well, hey, if another dad wants to start building a dome... Good luck to him. I will not be building a dome any time in the near future, I wouldn't have thought. Like, that's too much. What happened to this major server? It's still there. I don't think anybody plays on it, though. And uh, all, all the dads that I want to play with don't have access to Why it is diarrhea hereditary? It runs in your genes. Jesus Christ, Anonymous. That's disgusting. Thanks so much for the 10 bucks, though. That is gross, though. Is this peaceful? No, there's bad guys. Oh, I've seen them. We've been attacked a couple times. We're just really good at the game. We know how to fend them off, you know? There's some skeletons out there, though. We've taken a couple of shots. The BGs are out there, yeah. I haven't uh, made any weird changes to the server or anything. Like, this is just a default vanilla Minecraft server. It's got plenty of wham. It's got plenty of... CPUs. It's running like a dream right now. It's located in Germany as well, apparently. So, pretty good ping. I don't know how that's going to be for the Canadians and Americans that might be joining the server, but... Alright. Let's get him. That old Thank lady you. was a disgusting racist, so I had to take her out as the good chat roomer I am. Right. She was screaming how it is all the fault of those maple syrup jugging canooks. Jeez. You're welcome. Happy Thank you to serve 07. Thank you very much, Sips, you pretty boy. Good chat rooming. Well done. This guy knows his chat room. He knows. You're playing Minecraft in the background and that creeper gave you PTSD? Sorry about that. I am... Um, I am sorry about that. Okay, so we're going to clear down to... Oops. Oh, God. I looked at him. I think I'm going to die. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I died. That's unfortunate. Luckily, though, it's just over here. If I don't look... I didn't even stare at him for very long. It's kind of weird, eh? Well, at least it's not hardcore, right? Jeez. Yeah, fuck. Out of nowhere, eh? He was just down there. I, I took one peek at him. And uh, off he went. That was it. Look out. Look out, Margate. Lock up your daughters. Can I do a death count? Yeah, there's one. There, look. See one at the top. When I press tab. They don't like the peeking. No, I guess not. Unfortunate. Who's playing in the Hafu lobby? Um, let me get a list for you. Hang on a second. What time is it actually? Oh, I don't need to go just yet. Um, right. Today in the Hafu lobby, we have... Um, oh. Um, Hafu? Steve? Dumb Dog, DK, Tina, Five Up, Toast, Ifa, Wolf, and myself. Is that 10 people? 
Yeah, Toast is playing again, yeah. He, he's, uh, I think Hafu's got him in regularly now. So it's like pretty much the same squad we had last time I think we played. Why don't I switch to creative to get this place set up? I don't mind. I don't mind doing it like this. I think, it, you know, it's more of an achievement, right? Creative just sort of takes the fun out of it. Yeah, survival's pretty fun. Um, I mean, there's we're almost done, surprisingly. Like, it's not too bad. Hopefully we find some iron, start smelting some up. We can get some better tools. Use the set spawn command to reset the server spawn point. Yeah, I'll set it. Um, I'll use that once we've cleared this so that we can spawn people exactly where we want them. You know what I mean? I want people to spawn in to like a town square where we can have signs that say like, Welcome, Dad. This is a safe place for dads. Think of this as like the garage you never had. You're, you're among friends, you know, like a whole bunch. Of, yeah, straight into lava. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Dads need that. When a dad joins a Minecraft server for the first time, doesn't know what he's getting himself into, he needs to know that he's in a safe place, right? Spawn inside a dad garage, yeah. What about if we um what about if we spawn them into a room filled with paint cans? Wait, are there paint cans in this? What's like the most dad thing in this game currently? A dad summoning circle. Interview chamber. Bees? Fishing. Fishing is very dad-like, you're right. Just a room full of creepers. Hey, who knows? Maybe we'll luck out and we'll get like a mob spawner down here somewhere. Think of all the materials that we're going to have as well, chat. It's exciting. Uh, we need to make sure that we leave a spawner a way up there to all that stuff, right? Barrels are very dad. Yeah, that's true. Barrels could be a, a real dad move. Right. Stuck in the hospital. Thanks for the stream. Hey, Federico1001. I hope uh, everything works out well for you in the hospital. I hope, um, I hope it goes smooth. They have toast. What about Ray Bloody Purchase and Clem Fandango? Um, I don't know who those guys are. What went with the ski blocks? I. What went with the ski blocks? What does that mean? Toast of London. All right. Clem Fandango. Oh, Toast of London. I haven't really watched that. I tried watching the first episode of it, and I didn't really like it that much. Maybe it's one of those ones you just got to watch a little bit more to get into it. Like, I thought it was okay. I didn't I didn't think it was hilarious. I'll tell you what I have been watching recently that I think is actually hilarious. Uh, Seth, Steth, Stath Let's Flats. Stath, Stath Let's Flats is a really good one. Did I like Staff Let's Flats? Yeah, I got two more episodes in uh, season two. But yeah, I think it's hilarious. I love it. It's so funny. One of the best. Say that again. Stath, Stath Let's Flats. Stath, Stath Let's Flats. It's a tongue twister. It's a very funny show, though. All right, I'm going to take this stuff down here and set it up closer to my town square. Tell us about Ted Lasso again. Oh, man. I love it so much. Such a good show. And you know, Nate from Ted Lasso is actually in Stath Let's Flats at one point as well. What do you think of that? Pretty cool, eh? He plays an estate agent. Uh, Stath Let's Flats also is an estate agent. Um, and a rival estate agency decides to play pranks on all of the other estate agents and they have to band together in a big friendship move to stop them. It's pretty funny. Who came up with that dumbass name? It's Greek, I think. Stath is a Greek man who moved to um, 
England when he was 14 years old and couldn't speak any English. That's the story. And he, they have a family, a family owned lettings agency in London. And him, his dad and his sister work there. And his sister is actually the, 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 his real life sister, uh, Natasha Dimitriou, who is the, uh, one of the characters in what we do in the shadows, the female vampire. I don't know her name in the show because I've only watched like one episode of it, but she's very funny. Nate is a great character. Absolutely. Yeah. Nate is one of the best. <clears throat> Can I say the rural juror? Yeah. Hey, Cole. Cole and Powell. Just like that. That show has 100% on Rotten Tomatoes? I can see why, man. It's fucking hilarious. His dad especially fucking cracks me up, man. Have you seen the episode where at the start, him and him and Steven, his boyfriend, are, um, are printing his name out? <laughs> How you put my name so many times on one page? This is lovely. <laughs> what I do to deserve this? <laughs> he just like all these different fonts. It's just his name printed out like <laughs> 25 times on a piece of paper. Oh my God. She was hilarious on Adam Buxton's podcast. Yeah, she really was. She's very funny. Have I seen Letter Kenny? No, I haven't seen Letter Kenny yet. What uh, what was NL's take on Letter Kenny, or did I even ask him about it? I w I'm interested to see what he thinks about it, being a, a fellow Canadian and all. I feel like maybe that's not his thing. He hasn't seen it. Yeah, he doesn't strike me as the type that would watch that kind of stuff. He said he hasn't seen all of Trailer Park Boys either, right? Shit's Creek is meant to be quite funny. No? I heard that's quite good. Shit's Creek. Mouth likes it. Oh, okay. I I've never met Mouth before, so I don't know. Is he uh, is he similar to Dan and and Northern Lion? Like, generally, would you say? It's a heartwarming show, kind of like a little bit like Ted Lasso then. Ted Lasso I found quite heartwarming. If I find another sheep, I can make a bed chat and then we can skip nights, which will make things a lot easier. Have my children been to Canada? Yeah, we took them last year, last April. Sorry, the April before, almost two years ago. We took them to uh, Ottawa and Toronto. My old stomping grounds. Just sleep on the ground. I don't think you can do that in Minecraft. Minecraft. I will get all this coal though. Oh. You're doing great, Dad. Hey, six, level up for your boy here. Thanks for all the streams. Triforce has been helping me get through the lockdown. Congrats on the new Babu and becoming an ultra dad. Hey, Ryan, thank you so much for the uh, donation and thanks for the kind words as well. I appreciate that. Very nice. Very gentle, very nice. Lovely. Thank you. Um, we're going to need some torches in here, I think. At least one. To keep the uh, the BGs out, the heebie BGs, the heebie BGs. We're getting there, chat. We're doing it. Things are happening. Our our dream um, our dream of having a um, town square almost realized. Such a short amount of time played. Might even get this job done before I have to go. Unlikely, but let's uh, aim for that anyway. Hello up there, Dad. Do you ever wonder what Uthgard and Jizago are up to these days? 
Nope. I smell down here. Nope. I do not wonder. I'm sure they're up to no good, though. Hey, thank you, um, Ryan, and thank you, Sips Cock, for the uh, donations. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Sips, Sips Cock. Man, I just washed my cock today. I don't know how it can still stink, realistically. Come on. Yep. Just kind of lost interest in it whilst binging it. The new one started. The old ones were incredible. Which one's that? Letter Kenny? Same undies. Oh, that must be it. That always gets me. Just when I think I'm all clean and stuff, I realize, hang on a second, I've been wearing the same underpants for like three weeks. Shit. These things stink. These undies fucking stink. Malf. I've never met Malf, guys. I don't know. I've. I think I've. Um. I think I've heard him talking before. Like, if, like if I ever watch. Um. If I ever have NL on the background, I think he's like been on streams and stuff. But I don't know him. He's in chat. Hi, Malf. If you're in chat. We've never met before, but I assure you. I'm not that creepy a guy, okay? Don't let chat make you think otherwise. He subbed as well. Yeah, you have. I'm the really sexy sounding one. How you doing? Yeah, I have. Uh, I have heard you, but. Hi, Dad. What's, um... I'm watching your Red Dead 2 playthrough, and man, it's pretty great. Love you. Oh man, I'm watching this guy. There's a guy on my other screen playing Minecraft right now on the Twitch front page called Death Ridge Craft. Don't go watch him, by the way. Um. He has, like, enchanted tools and stuff, and what he's doing right now is about a billion times faster than what I'm doing. That's so annoying. I hate that. Don't go. <laughs> Don't, do not go. Death Ridge is cool. Nice. Not approved streamer. No, I, I, I like I said, the Twitch front page is up. It sounds like a Zoomer. He might be one, actually. Um... Ban me for even mentioning him. Is this Russ? No, no, no. I watched Twitch while streaming? No. I was, uh, I had Flax's stream open earlier because I was, um, playing Tarkov with them. And, uh, before I started, I just hit back, which brought me back to the front page. And then it just auto started playing this stream. And I was too lazy to change it over. So now he's holding one of those golden babbies and stuff as well. This guy is playing Minecraft. Biceps, where are you going? You guys are going to watch this guy instead? I get it. I understand. Doing dad things. <clears throat> Malf, apparently, uh, if you're still here, I don't know if you're still here, but Malf, apparently you sound a bit like a Minecraft YouTuber called Tico, um, who we played Among Us with. Are you aware of this? Have I got my Bitcoin farm up? No, not yet. I'm, I'm quite far from uh, getting that set up. No, not Tito. Tico. Remember Tico? Remember I had that conversation with about graphics cards with him? And he, he just like, he's 15 years old. And he was just like, Bobby digitized my ass. I have one graphics card. He's got like 10 and he knows how to set them up and stuff. Not Tico. You're not Tico Salo. Tico Anyone Salamanca, that's not even a character. Stream to go watch another stream is a traitor to Sips Nation and is banned from Jeff Land for the next seven minutes. That's right, Jeff. Hey, Jeff, good to see you, man. I hope you're doing well. What's uh, what are you up to during like all this, the pandemic and everything? Are you able to like work still and stuff? Did I tell you guys that Jeff works at Valve? He's um. I think one of the I think the last thing I I knew that Jeff did was he did one of the battle passes for uh, Dota. Are you still doing that stuff, Jeff? Or can I not even say that? Shit. Working at home, pooping at home, eating at home. Nice. Half Life Three went. Yeah, no, he's not working on Half Life though. No, he's like I, he was on the Dota team uh, when I when we went over there. 
By the way, though, Jeff is like one of the nicest guys. Remember when we went to the museum and stuff together, Jeff? That was awesome. I miss the days where we could like do stuff like that. Travel, for instance. Yeah. <laughs> Um, hey, look, maybe I just need to get some creepers down here to help me out. Look, come on. Not the uh, coal so much, though. Let's lead them up here, look. Help me with my... Yeah, perfect. Nice. That's, that's a huge help. The museum trip was fun with you-know-who and skinny you-know-who, yeah. I, well, one of them you can still talk about. The other one, not, not so much, I guess. It was good fun, though, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. It was a fun, overall, a really fun trip. Lots of fun was had. Um, skinny you-know-who uh, had some edibles as well, which was interesting, as you can imagine. Um, good times. Good times. Red matter bomb time. No, no, there's no mods on this one. Voldemort. Who's that? Copper for a red matter bomb. I mean, that would clear out the town square as well. Um, Malf, do you have any kids? Are you, um, are you kidless? We're thinking of opening up the dad server to, uh, dads plus one. We were going to do a vote on it, but you do not. Okay, well, Malf, I mean, if you want to play on this server, you're more than welcome. Like, I think Dan and, uh, and, and Elle are going to play on it eventually as well. If you want to, if you want to come and join, you're more than welcome. We can have a couple of plus ones, I think, chat. I missed the result. What was the result? Yes? Or no? My niece is 19 and my nephew is 9. Well, see, you kind of already know what it's like then to have some kids, right? It was a negative. Chad, that's not nice. Come on. What about we, if we adopt uh, a couple of people? Honorary. Honorary dads. Like the honorary police, you know? They're not really police, but they know what's up. They've seen some shit, you know? When they're acting like human barricades at fun fairs and stuff like that. They see the shit going down. Malf is a plant dad. Jeff, do you want to play on this one as well? Are you up for it? You want to come in and do some dad stuff? Just like help clear out a town square and shit? No? He will be the farm lord. Okay. Um, you'll need to... Um, we'll need to like exchange... Um, stuff, I guess. Like Twitter or something? DM me on Twitter or get get you on Discord and then I can give you like this the stuff and whitelist you and, and everything. I've never run a server before, but actually it's kind of fun. You feel very powerful when you do it as well. <clears throat> the server's called Only Dads. What about four dads and a mouth? No? Hit me up on Twitter. Just um just at me and um and we can we can exchange. We can do a um we can follow for follow and all that kind of fun stuff that kids like to do. The kids these days, you know? What am I missing? A shovel? Oh. Where the fuck did all the... I just need one stack of this. One follow for one follow. I'm just going to eat this as well. You meant the Skyblock series, series I was doing. Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll go back to it. I, the mod pack was fun, and actually the setup was was starting to get really interesting too with the uh, with the um, with the thing. I think you know what's going to be good about this exploring the new Nether uh, without worrying about hardcore, because there's new mechanics in the Nether, right? It's changed quite a bit, I think. Has it? When will I play Raft again? Um. At some point, I will play Raft again. I enjoyed it. I didn't dislike it. It was kind of fun. The story stuff um, was a little bit um, not what I expected, but generally it was pretty good. I don't know. A lot of the game felt like kind of busy work, though, you know? Even when you get, like, those collectors set up, you still, there's still lots of, like heavy dicking around that you need to do. Felt like it left us wanting a bit more. Is that a fucking another Enderman? I won't look at him this time. Look, I'll just look down the whole time. Where is he? 
I don't see him. Case closed. The game has gotten better in Raft. I mean, I like I said, I didn't dislike it. We will play it again. It's just... Uh, I don't know, I'm a bit all over the place at the moment. I'm I'm solidly enjoying Tarkov, though. And also, Tarkov is made for some interesting collabs that I don't think would have happened otherwise. Like, uh, hanging out with JP has been really fun, actually. It sounds like we're going to maybe play some uh, PoE together and stuff, too. So that's a good one. I was talking to um, to Ko yesterday about... Well, I asked him if he wanted to join the server, and he said, sorry, I'm really not into Minecraft. Um, but I'd love to like do something else. And he said he's planning on playing some Tarkov again soon and he wants to play, so we might do some stuff with Ko as well, which would be kind of cool. No? Pedguin is technically a dad, yeah. Pe and Pedguin is welcome to join the dad server too. We'll invite other people that aren't dads, realistically, chat. It's just a fun place for dads and their friends to hang out, okay? <laughs> the scope of this thing is changing like all the time. Dodger is welcome as well. If she wants to join, she can. <clears throat> Can I join? Your first kid is coming in May. Well, no, you're not a dad yet. You're a, you're a, a, you're in the dad waiting room right now. That's not a dad, okay? It's just vanilla, yeah. Mums can join the dad server. Yeah, absolutely, they can. Twenty twenty one is about in being inclusive in gaming. Okay, this is something you're gonna hear more and more and more and more and more as time goes on, and um, more demographics are available for uh, game game companies to exploit. Inclusive gaming. That's why we've not only just opened it up to dads, moms can join as well. Okay, we are being inclusive. But we do not, we will not tolerate ancient Incans or Mayans on this server, okay? That's where I draw the line, okay? I sh actually, do any of them exist anymore or is, are those civilizations long gone? Like, are there any, any people left in the world with, like, that lineage or heritage? Cancelled. Yes. Really? Oh. I didn't realize, sorry. I thought that they were like a, an ancient lost civilization, you know? I take it back. It's not as funny as I thought it was going to be, sorry. I like the idea of being, of, of being like... Um, well, I don't like the idea. I just thought it was a bit funny to be like um, unreasonably racist towards uh, civilization and people from a civilization that no longer exist. You know what I mean? Like... Like being ironically racist or whatever. But if they still if they're still around and stuff, it doesn't work, so I apologize. Sorry. Have you seen the Twitch communities map on Reddit? Super cool, and I'm on it. The Twitch communities map. No, I haven't Whoa, Jesus Christ. I haven't seen that. No, what is it? Wow, that scared the crap out of me. You guys too? Where is he? He's gone. <laughs> Jesus. That was really spooky. You jumped. Yeah, so did I. Christ. The Incas are gone. Okay, cool. So the joke can still work. Mayans are still around, but the Incans are not. Are Vulcans allowed? I don't know about sci-fi, honestly. Ferengis? Is there any chance that if you were racist towards a, a Vulcan or a Ferengi that somebody in the real world would get offended? And try to cancel you? Or do you think that that's just like a free for all area? 100%. The Klingon dictionary. Um, who was I talking to about Klingon dictionaries recently? I was talking about Star Trek and Star Wars at the same time, mentioned a Klingon dictionary, and then they corrected me, but I think they corrected me in Klingon. Was that Ash was that Northern Lion? And did he correct me in Klingon? Like whatever the language was. I remember my friend used to have the Klingon dictionary and used to try to speak to us in Klingon. It's pretty funny. 
Oh, he did it in English. Okay. Maybe I misheard then. What if I'm a daddy and not a den? That's gross. Like a, like, like a dirty daddy, you mean? Like a, like a sexy daddy? Like a dirty, sexy daddy? I don't know. I'm not sure I want a dirty, sexy daddy on the server, honestly. I just want like normal dads. What is your stance on non-dog kickers joining the server? Um, well, um, I don't know. Uh, it depends on how everybody else feels about dog kicking. I mean, I, I like to kick them in games, obviously. Like, I have a history of doing so, but... But having said that, I mean, I do feel kind of bad. Well, actually, I don't. It's just a virtual dog. I mean, geez. I still maintain it's kind of weird that somebody had to animate all that. You know? I know it's not an excuse, but it is weird. In Alaska, dude, can you kick dogs? Yeah, probably, yeah. It's it's probably not going to be a day one feature, though. I think we'll concentrate on, like, some of the core mechanics of the game first. And then we'll do, like, a big dog kicking paid for DLC. Which is just going to fly off the shelves. The digital shelves. Because we're going to probably sell this on Steam, realistically. The Dangers of Nature DLC. Something like that, yeah. Hey, look, we're doing it. We are doing pretty good you here. You can be racist towards the Dutch all you want, a sweet smoking whore going chilled out dudes and dudettes do not mind. I hereby give you a D word pass. Sipsy pretty boy, thanks for the 10 bucks. Sipsy pretty boy, I'm surprised I didn't realize that you were Dutch. That changes everything now. I'm going to need more time to think about this VIP status. Um, that is a game changer. I wish I'd known earlier. Not looking too good, no. No, absolutely not. That is not looking good. Say, I'm very disappointed. Um, did I make more shovels? Do I have an extra shovel? No, I'll have to make a couple more. That's okay, we don't mind. Right, chat? Where we're going, we need lots of shovels. Is that a, no, it's a, I guess we could do with getting another um, sheep killed as well. Should I have a look around while it's daytime and then at least I can skip the night when I need to? Maybe we can bait out some more creepers to do some more work for us as well. Fine. There's gotta be another sheep around here somewhere. I'm purposely not killing the cows because I'll make a cow farm for uh, leather so we get books and stuff later, right? Sheep, I suppose I could breed as well, but for now, Let's just whip their asses. We'll find more, don't worry. We're in a big forest here, so. I think we're just back here, right? By this pit of lava. Make sure we don't fall in that pit of lava. Right, let's make a bed. I'm a sheep. Will you whip my ass? Bet your ass I will. I'm gonna whip it good. I'm going to whip it into shape. Go forward. Oh, it's got to be the same color wool. God, that is bullshit, isn't it? Look, now it's getting dark, too. Look at this fucking new eh? Give me an old versions. What's the current version of the game? What are we on, 1.6 or something now? You can use bone meal to dye it white. Do I have any bones? Oh, I do. Boo. One, 1. 1.33.7. Um, let me see. Mouth. Let us make the exchange. Mouth. Exchanged. Okay, Mouth. 
the next step of the exchange, you must now DM me your Discord thing so that I can we can make the exchange there as well. It's happening, chat. We've exchanged details with Malf. We're meeting Malf for the first time. Here we see two dads about to exchange contacts. What a beautiful sight. I know, he's not actually a real dad, but it's okay. We can work around it, right? There's gotta be, there's gotta be one exception at least, or no. He's, he's a faker. <laughs> Imagine faking being a dad. Of all the things you could fake. <laughs> the diversity quota. Diversity quota met. An honorary dad, yeah. That's what that's we're gonna have dads and honorary dads. We'll make um should we do like the, the hall of records? We'll make like a hall of records for the server where we can list all the members of the server and their status dad mom honorary dad honorary mom plus one what other ranks can we have how diverse are my dads both of my dads very diverse non-dad do we want to rank for non-dad though i don't know if we want to promote promote <laughs> <laughs> promote? I don't know if we want to promote non non dads. Look, I feel like if we can get Malf on here, get him whitelisted, get him get him rocking and rolling, man, he might be able to dig out some of this stuff for us. Even you know, same with Dan. We gotta get Dan on here. Get him get him to work. Limmy as well. I, although I think Limmy will just make like those fucking weird machines where he kills villagers in them. I guess that means that we'll have to make um, Limmy an admin as well, right? So that he can go into creative. We, we, well, I think the only way he'll join, I don't think he wants to play survival somehow. I think he likes to make those fucking weird villager killing machines. Limmy's on iron duty. Well, I mean, if he wants to play it properly, I mean, that would be cool too. How long are we going here? We are, um, we're going here until four. But I'm going to have to take a little bit of a break in a couple of minutes. Uh, probably like eight minutes to go and pick up my uh, kids from school. Um, I am actually a dad. And my kids have gone back to school today. And I need to go pick them up. But it'll only take me like 20 minutes. What's the big scheme with this one? Uh, to start off with, we're setting up a little bit of a town square. where uh, So we have a safe place for people to spawn in. We'll have like a town square. And then eventually, I think, let's set up like a little welcome center that people maybe spawn into. With some instructions that say like, here you go. Here's a chest with some tools for you to get started and whatever you know we want we want to make it a welcoming place for new dads and old dads you know schools are open yeah uh where i live they are they are they've gone back today um we were at over a thousand cases before christmas and we're back down to like 250 or something active because we had like a bit of a lockdown uh from uh boxing day until basically today uh, but uh, non-essential shops, hairdressers, all that shit is still closed over here. It's just the schools have gone back. Yeah. Any more mandates with Dan Giesling? We're going to play some Tarkov this week, I believe. It's just... Um, do you know what's really uh, unfortunate? Time zones in general, for sure. But I, it's actually easier for me to meet up with uh, people on uh on pacific time because the eight hours difference and that's because uh, i generally can get out here like later on in the evening to do stuff like last night uh or central even works um but in dan's case because he's also a dad and he's got kids and stuff he streams sort of like business hours for him right during the day which means that 
it's either late afternoon for me, sort of when he starts, so there's not really that much time. And especially this week, because I'm doing all these lobbies at 4 o'clock. Um, and then uh, later on in the evening, it's tough, because like when it's like, say, 10 at night, when I would normally come back out and play some Tarkov or whatever, it's like 5 at night for him. Which is kind of crunch time when you have kids, right? Usually you're making dinner, getting them ready for bed, all that kind of shit. So it's uh, it's a uh, it's an awkward one, not because Dan's awkward. It's just Eastern time and my uh, and my time is is just awkward for Dad's schedules, you know. The Twitch community map is under the data is beautiful subreddit legend is in the comments. Super cool. You and everyone you play with is on it. Oh wow, okay. And is it is that pretty cool or what? Does it show like crossover between like audiences and stuff because we've all played games together and shit like that? That sounds really neat actually. Who did that? Is it just like a data compiler person who thinks that data is actually beautiful? The Team Rocket fan art is amazing. Yeah, it is really good. I thought at first I thought that I wasn't on it and I was kind of offended. Because as far as I knew, I was part of Team Rocket. And then I saw the fan, I was like, hang on, I'm not even on this. And I'm pretty sure I'm part of Team Rocket. They just forgot about me again. It's because I'm uh, a big um, nar narthith narthith I'm, I'm narthith 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 That's why. Very inflated self-importance on me. What time is it for me now? It is 2.31 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. I was, I was part of Team Rocket. Well, I realize that now, but at first I thought that I had been punked. So I was a bit like, God, this fan art stink. No, I never thought that actually. I thought it was good all along. But you know what I mean? I was a little bit, I felt left out briefly. But then it turns out I had nothing to fear. I was there the entire time. So I, I feel better about it now. Still a bit of a sore point. And I'm probably making it a little bit more awkward than it needs to be as well. I won't take these seeds for... I'll come back and get them. Okay, the thing is, this is a server. So I can't just pause the game and go. So I'm going to actually have to come out of the server and join back in after I get back. Uh, but listen, when I get back, we've got like another hour of this... So hopefully we'll get some more stuff done. I mean, it's getting, it's looking good. We've cleared out a lot of stuff here. We'll make it nice and flat and start carving out an area for like the welcome center. And then uh, we'll make a, we'll, we'll set the spawn point exactly where we want people to spawn. And then we'll get some stuff set up for when people spawn in, you know. Another hour of rock clearing. Uh, yeah, I mean, that is Minecraft for you, unfortunately. Look at the big ass hole. I know. You got it. You ha you have to respect the dedication it takes to clear a mountain like this, and we had some nice, gentle, lovely chats as well at the same time. So come on, it hasn't been that bad, chat. Come on, give me a break. No, you're looking forward to the welcoming hole. Absolutely, you should be. I think it's going to be great. We're gonna we're gonna make something really special. We're gonna make something just really gentle and nice for everybody who joins. It's gonna be really nice. Did I say big asshole? <laughs> yeah, I did. I actually did, yeah. Okay, let me disconnect from this. There's nobody on the DadCraft server right now. Um, let me just see if... Appreciate the invite. I can't wait to tell you all the real stories about Ryan. Discord username stuff. Okay, here we go. We're doing it. Let me add Malf to Discord. And I can get him set up when I get back, maybe. And then we're good to go. I think Grand Poo. Okay. Um, hang on a second. How do I add people? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, let me do this one last thing and then I'll go. Um, where is it?
Is it ca oh the capitalization matters, doesn't it? Hmm, didn't work. Oh, do you know what? I forgot the A. Michael J. Fox. Hang on. No, that didn't work either. Do you think it's like capital M? No. No, it didn't work. Weird. I'll have to try this when I get back. FL Studio on the desktop, have I made any beats? No, I got like the trial version and I didn't make any beats and then I got angry and then I uh, didn't use it again. Share the IP. He said it's all lowercase. All right, I did have it all lowercase. You made it. Thank God I made it. I'm the world's greatest, world's greatest. I'm gonna let you slap me. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, no, I won't. Shit, we need some, um, we need to build a castle or something here, I think. There's, ah! <laughs> Jesus. No. We need some walls. Oh, my God, I need some iron so bad. Fuck. I need another piece of uh, wool. Did you say that I could dye wool with... Uh, oh, yeah, you can make dye, right? I know how to do it. I do know how to do it. Um, we'd put it like this, and we make some white dye. Shit. No, I didn't want to throw that. Ah, <laughs> Fucking Minecraft, eh? No! Sh shit! Shit, the bed, we're almost dead. We're gonna have to cook up some more... Some more hot eats and cool treats here. Okay. Let's put this stuff here. Let's get some coal in here. Let's get a raw mutton on here. You can't cook up the, um, the, the bad flesh, right? That's an impossibility. Um, let me see. Hang on a second. I need to go back to my... There, that's the one. That's the one. We got it. We got it. That's what I was looking for. That's the good stuff. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. I got a whitelist mouth as well. Let me just do this quickly. Wait, did the game pause there or no? Okay, I got to restart the server, but let me get... I'm going to whitelist uh, Malf here as well. Hang on a second. Um, where is this thing? Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, sorry about this. I mean, we did say that we were setting this up today, and we kind of are doing that now, right? We are, we're setting it up. I got to add another line to my JSON file here. Um, I've got another UID that I need to add in here. Boom. And then we need to get this one in here. Boom. Get rid of all this stuff. Boom. Save. Console. And then we'll do a, a quick restart. Yeah, I, I whitelisted Dan and, uh, and, uh, my, and Malf as well are whitelisted now too. These guys are going to try to download all my mp3s. I hope not. I really hope that that's not the case. Because I will be pissed. We don't want any of that happening. Okay, let's see if this works. We've got two more people whitelisted. When they join in, they should spawn in around here, I think. How do you check? Well, we'll only know if people are able to actually join the game, chat. This is the thing. I don't know. I've never run a Minecraft server before. There we go. There we go. He's in. It worked. Success. It's worked. Oh, my God. you got to love it when something works. No? Look at that. He's got us like a bikini on. <laughs> 
what an incredible skin. Look at that. It's a two. Is that a two piece or a one piece? <laughs> oh man, I love that. I love that. First, first guest on the dad server is not a dad. Well, Dan is here. I don't know where he is. Like, is he streaming? Is he actually live? <laughs> he left. Look, it, it does work. It works. He made it. Plant dad. You think he's going to change his skin? You think he's embarrassed because he's got his bathing suit on and there's no pool here? Hello, Sipstifer. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm I'm really good. I'm just playing Minecraft and uh, I just picked up my kids from school and, uh, you know, other dad things. That's amazing. I know. I know. Um, Would you like to know something? What's that? I'm playing Minecraft right now, too, for the first time. Oh my god, you've never played You've played it, though. You guys tried to do that speed run, right? Yeah, I'm saying on the dad server. Oh, right, okay, yeah, well, welcome. I'm just trying to clear out a nice safe space for, like, uh, when other dads join. I was telling Ooh. my chat. We're going to try to make, like, a, you know, just a safe spawning zone. Hey, what's up? Wow, that oh. is quite the skin you got there. Hello. Oh, That's pretty what? cool. You look like an Incredible or something. What is that outfit? It's a really old skin. Um, me and uh, a guy that I did content with years and years and years ago had a, an animated series called Spacemen. Yeah. And uh, this is what the Spacemen looked like. Okay. Yeah. Is he in space right now? No. Oh, okay. He's canceled. Um, <laughs> awkwardly. Yeah. He is okay. canceled. Yeah. Does that make your space suit canceled or the, the suit is... is no, I think mine post? is fine. I think mine is totally fine. But Okay. Yeah. So, uh, um, a bit of so a weird one. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> sorry. Thank, thanks. No, no. I, I, if I would have known, I wouldn't have gone, definitely no, no, not gone down that road. No, it's not for you to know, honestly. Huh? It's just one of those things that happens, unfortunately, in the 2021, the year of our Lord. Well, 2019 it happened, but, you know. It happens, right? It, yeah. it does happen. There's there's a whole slew of them, like, kind of, I want to say recently, but it wasn't, I guess, that recent, but, yeah. Yeah. It does. Well, yeah. In other words, uh, thank you for inviting me to DadCraft. I'm excited to be a part of it. I think it's going to be great, honestly. I think once we really get rocking and rolling, it's going to be amazing. I'm just like, like, we. the spawn point was on a hill, and I've dug out all this. See, like, where it's all flat? Mm-hmm. I've, I dug all this out by hand, like um, some sort of self-loathing um, <laughs> person. Yeah, that, That's um, a lot of work. Yeah, that's, it's, that's... A, it's a fair amount of work. Yeah, I've gone through lots of tools. So my idea is just to get started because people are going to spawn in around here. But actually, because I can I, I have uh, like uh, direct control over the server, I can set a spawn point. So I was thinking we could make kind of like a central um like a town hall or something like that where we can just like people can spawn in they can get some free stuff you know we can put some guidelines up on signs like uh you know if people need guidelines for whatever reason and um and, and yeah could i i mean if a town hall could i be secretary <coughs> of the treasury also known as sat yes sorry <laughs> i'm dying so, so put me to work here. What, what can I do here to, to help uh, move the needle forward for our newfound <clears throat> civilization? Right. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, my God. I had like a granola bar <laughs> when I got back, and it's really um, stuck in my throat right now. Uh, I'll you put you to work in two seconds. Let me have a sip eat, of water quick. Eat some of that. Mm. Oh. God, I'm not even that. a joke. You sipping water, it sounded like the water effect in the game when you drink. <laughs> it's like, like almost the, frame perfect. It's like the Tarkov one, you know, when you're drinking <laughs> juice or whatever. So okay, so we want to <clears> flatten <throat> this area out. Um, yeah, I think we'll okay. flatten all this out. Okay. And up here, there's like a staircase here. There's a whole bunch of dirt. <laughs> there's dirt and rock in here. But if you want to like chop down some trees, here, hang on. I'll make you some tools. So that you can um, you can chop down some trees. I'll make you an axe and I'm, a pickaxe. This is, uh, are you playing uh, Java or are you playing Microsoft version? Um, it's the it's the Java version. So I think the I think there's like Bedrock Edition is like a, like the console version, and then mm -hmm. Java I think is just the 
standard Microsoft one. Here, come over here. Okay. Where's... Right, right behind you. Oh, yeah, yeah. There oh. you go. Just pick well, those up. They're just crappy ones, but... Hey. So the axe you can use to cut down trees. So, like, all these trees here, make sure you get all of the wood bits. Once all the wood bits are gone, then the leaves will just, like, disappear over time. But if you leave some wood bits in, you'll get all these, like, floating trees. Like, the, yeah. the leaves will stay. You're not into, like, the natural uh, tree coverage. You want just... just pure clear aesthetic that's right yeah okay. like i i i see paradise and i want to i want to pave it over with the parking lot straight away <laughs> we're gonna a go for a very that? yeah yeah we're gonna go for a very sort of gray like ussr aesthetic you know like oh like imagine tarkov but uh you know before it was uh bombed out and depleted by whatever altercations took place in and around tarkov Got it. So if this were the USSR Tarkov, what would that make you in particular? What would your title be? Um, I, I would say like either Boris Yeltsin or maybe like um, M Mikhail Gorbachev or something, you know, like okay. like one of the big kahunas, okay. one of them. What about you? Like, do you, what, is, do you have like I, I, a person or a title that you, you would I, I like to have? Be, yeah, Secretary of the Treasury, also known as SOT, S, uppercase S, lowercase O, uppercase T. Okay. I mean, you can you can be the secretary of the treasury. You want to handle all of the the gold bouillon and like diamonds are a big thing in this game. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, yeah. I'm 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 fairly versed in in uh in Minecraft, just not dadcraft. You know, it's like right. I I just want to be a part of your vision. Yeah. You know, so right now the vision is is clearing all the greenery. Yes. And making a town hall, right? <laughs> making a town hall in the middle of like a big Wendy's parking lot pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Just, uh, I mean, we could even make the town halls look like a McDonald's or a Wendy's as well, which I think okay. would be kind of fun, right? Yeah. We could have, like, uh, some grease stains on the on the ground and, like, uh, a drive through window and stuff. Is there a uh, Wendy's on your, your real-life island? No, there's not. Uh, there, we have one McDonald's here. It's like a mm -hmm. franchise McDonald's, and it's busy all the time. There's, like, a lineup outside around the restaurant constantly. I don't know why, but there is. And uh, we have uh, Burger King as well. That's it. Uh, so Wendy's must be a real treat for you then. When you yeah, Wendy's it. just doesn't exist over here. I don't even think on the mainland they have it. It's a very North American thing. What's, but, your, uh, what's your go-to Wendy's order? Like if you want to just have a mouthful of nostalgia. Oh, just a Frosty every time. I don't even get food from Wendy's. Just Frosties. They're so you, good. Do you dip fries into it? Have you heard of that meta? Dipping fries into a Frosty? Yeah. No, I'm not all about that at all, that's, actually. That's, like, pretty uh, popular. I, I don't partake, but I thought you would be one of those individuals that partake in that. That is pretty grim, actually. I I'm, <laughs> I find that worrying that people would do that. Why would you dip fries into, like, a chocolate milkshake? You know? Why do people do a lot of stuff? Maybe because it's good? I don't know. I, I've never tried it. I cannot say I've tried it, but I just thought... You're a Wendy's connoisseur, but you're just a frosty connoisseur. Yeah, I wouldn't say that I'm much of a Wendy's connoisseur at all. Like I, I went a lot, like as a as a kid and stuff. But I'd say, like in Canada, we had Harvey's as well. I don't know if you get those in Michigan. Um, whenever I'd go to, because I live in Michigan, so whenever I'd go across the border or whatever, I'd yeah. see them, and they look to me. I always thought they were like uh, off-brand McDonald's. They kind of are, yeah. They're just a very, very sort of Canadian uh, fast food place. But uh, the nice thing about Harvey's is it was the only fast food place is that you could get hot dogs. You could actually get, like, fast food hot dogs. I guess uh, A&W had, like, the whistle dog or whatever, but... I think we only had, like, one A&W around where I grew up, so... What was Harvey's, like, uh, Whopper or Big Mac? Did they have one? Um, yeah, they had like, um, their, their whole thing was that I think one of their taglines when I was growing up was we make you spoiled for char broiled. Um, so it was always like the open flame sort of cooking. I think that was their big thing. So they had like, they didn't have like a Whopper or like a Big Mac or anything. I think all of their stuff was just basically like the char broiled burger or like the flame grilled surprise and you know what i mean yeah. nothing nothing catchy but that was their big thing like everything was flame. i don't know yeah flame flame grilled if Got that it. 
does that make it better or worse or i don't know i think to me when i hear of like char broiled i feel like it seems healthier because it's yeah. not fried right but i don't there's that's not founded in science just opinion. no i know like what how what uh what would you say that your like fast food intake is generally like is that something that you like do you take your kids to like mcdonald's like have they if, been if we do it's like a tremendous treat i'd probably say maybe once a month like right right fast like fast food intake yeah it's like a bit you know, different over here because you do have like i said we have mcdonald's and stuff like that but there's also the culture of like fish and chips sorry to and interrupt chip this shops, lovely conversation you know? but i just uh, noticed you're gonna you have to elaborate on that for me. VIP, and chip i just want like to say that yeah so it's like I fully it's like um it very inspirational to me but I it's like a you know like a, in north america you'd have like a fry truck you know like uh um, why like french fries yeah, uh, not really. Is no? that in North America? We got it. We got uh, Maybe that's zombie. just Canada then. I mean, oh. You want some help? You have a sword? Yeah, please. Do you know how to make one? Yeah, oh, yeah. No. Okay. Nice. Should we um, make beds? Yeah, or well, no? I need to kill one more um, sheep. Oh, actually, I was in the middle of trying to dye this. I have I have enough to make one bed. Mm. Um, you want me to you... log off and log, then log back on so we can... Uh, no, it's fine. I mean, we can. Yeah. We're survivors, right? We can do it. <laughs> we can. We can just about. I can't remember how to dye this. Do I need more than one white dye? Um, sorry, I'm just asking chat. I don't think you need to dye it. I think you can white just make it. Wool. No, I think you. I think there is a way to dye it. But oh, you need eight wool. Oh my god. Okay, chat. You've led me up a. Led me along a strange road here. Um, so you don't have fry trucks? Okay, maybe that's just a Canadian thing. Because, uh, of course, we have, like, poutine vans and stuff, too, right, in Canada? Yeah. So maybe that's part of the thing. Okay, so over here, you have uh, what's called a chip shop. And it's... jeez, um, oh, did you see yeah, that Yeah, he thing? scared the shit out of me. <laughs> um, a chip shop is basically... It's like a fast food place, but all they have is, like, uh, like you know, like, thick steak cut french fries sort of thing. Like, big chips. Um, like steak that in here you call them steak fries is that steak cut fries i guess yeah. or it's well, i'm trying to think of like the equivalent but like think of like a very chunky french fry okay um but made the same way that you would make fries right and then they have um they sell other stuff too you can get burgers you can get like onion rings you can get um fish so like you get like haddock or cod but it's like battered so it's like i mean it's it's i don't really eat seafood and I, I never did before like i'm vegetarian now like i haven't have been for a while but um if i would have eaten fish before it would be like something like that you know like battered mm. battered fish because it's but, got like a the, nice crispy sort of skin on it and stuff the draw know. is the steak fry like that's what gets people in the door uh yeah it's just like it's like kind of the it's like a like a british staple i guess uh mm. like just you know chips it's just like they used to like a long time ago you used to be able to get uh fish and chips like served to you like in a newspaper like you know just a greasy ass newspaper but they had to stop doing that because the ink would run and like it yeah, it's kind of gross like instead of like something sanitary like wax paper they put it in a newspaper they used to long long time ago now they just put it into like sort of a waxy sort of paper or just like a kind of it's a kind of like a like a like paper bag i guess sort of thing but it's just they just wrap they wrap up like you get a portion of chips which is like a lot of chips um and and it's cheap and it's like kind of the it's the kind, sort of thing that you like if you went out to like the pub and had a couple of drinks that's the sort of thing you would eat like on the way home sort of thing you know like can, can i assume i don't mean any offense by it yeah were you around when they served them in newspapers no no that, like, i've, I've heard days? story that's like old and olden days whoops there's a creeper at, at town hall <laughs> it was right on you yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh man just to make the stakes more interesting if you respawn don't worry, you're not going to be too far away from where you died because the yeah. spawn point is, like, right here anyway. But um, if you press tab, you can see, like, your name and your ping. And yeah. that number shows you how many times you've died, so. Oh. Maybe at the end of realizing my vision, we can have a tally and see who is the best dad Minecrafter going, you know? What? The least wow. amount of deaths. 
I, uh, I of course, I have one as well. You know that guy that zipped in and scared us earlier? Yeah. He, he got me. Oh, Turns out he's a... really tough to fight against when you have no gear whatsoever. No one said uh, make it a town hall would be easy. You no, know? that's it. I mean, that's... The town hall wasn't built in one day, and also, um, turns out a lot of people died whilst building the town hall as well. I don't know if that's a quote from anything, but... It's looking nice. I like, I like it. I feel like it, I feel like this is, like, the extent of, of where we need to clear it to. Like, the level that we're on right now. So we'll just mm -hmm. clear the rest of it out, flatten it out a bit, and then we can, uh, we can, we can build a nice building. Set the spawn point in there, and then any any people that spawn in for the first time can be greeted with like fresh set of tools, you know, maybe like um, some nice motivational quotes on some plaques on the wall or something. Keep your pecker up and stuff like that, you know, like that, you never know, give up. It's very inspirational. Hey, when I <laughs> hit, when I hit this, it keeps coming back. Is that like protected land or something? Uh, no, it shouldn't be. What's uh? Are you like lagging or something? I don't know. Weird. I don't think my ping is one. I think I'm pretty good. Just keep hitting it until it breaks. Oh, weird. Oh, it is lag apparently. Oh. Or maybe too close to spawn. Oh, there you go. Maybe it's like. Oh, that's really weird. Is it just that one block then? Yeah, oh, you know what? Cool. This must be the spawn blocks. Oh. Just leave them. I think I can do them because I'm uh, admin. I'll get rid of them and then just just clear the other ones if you want. Uh, even like all this dirt here, we can clear too. So um, since I am the secretary of treasury. Oh, here you go. Here, look. Take that too. Oh, thank you. It's can you tell dirt. me what the back end looks like? What when you were setting this up, you're just like, hey, just give me basic vanilla. Or there. Yeah. Any um, you can install mods and stuff on it. I just like just I just used like a hosting company like that offers Minecraft servers. Yeah. Um, they set one up, uh, you know, Smager, who plays like on, in the Hafu lobby sometimes. Did you ever play with him? Smager? Mm -mm, I've not, no. He's a Scottish guy. Um, he set one up for Hafu and them, uh, okay. like a community server as well. He used the same. Uh, it's actually, I got all the information from him. I just said, like, oh, what hosting company and stuff did you use and how did you do it? And he was like, oh, I, I'm not really like, I don't really do like lots of that stuff, but this, it was really easy to do it with these guys. And then the rest is history. Very cool. Now we got a server. It's pretty good. Very good. Yeah. I mean, we have a, a bay. This is the bedrock of town hall right here. I know. I mean, you're. This is like ground floor, right? It's exciting. You know, maybe like years from now, we'll look back and we'll be like, "Holy crap! Remember the first time we started building all of this crap? And now look at it. It's, it just looks stupid. But <laughs> before we, d it didn't even look stupid. It was just nothing." Because of that, will you come here? I want to, I want to just have a little ceremony if you don't mind. Okay. I'm ready. So I think, like, so, and I know you don't want to go down, but I think if we eat, each place like a single dirt block there. Okay. Dirt maybe, block. Maybe. Yeah. You're gonna have to lend me one. I don't have one. Do you have a spare one? Okay, thanks. Oops. When it's all said and done, maybe we'll come back underneath the center of town hall and see okay. if the dirt's still there. All right. You ready? On the count of three. You okay. place on the left, I'll place on the right, okay? Okay. One, two, three. Wow. There it is. Here, have this too. There you go. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You know, Get do you have another here. one? No, no, I'll find another oh, one though. It's fine. I said the ceremony is after. But I the can't blocks. eat it, so you eat it. Also, I am I, loving uh, dead craft. I love Smiley your face. um your skin. Are, are you are those like sandals or are you not wearing socks? I think I went into a Minecraft like skin server place and I just typed in red shirt and this is what I got. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, that's so, pretty cool. Like you look really cool. You you kind of blinked out too. You got like a gold chain on and stuff. You like it? Yeah, I really do like it. Yeah, <laughs> it's really good. It's like you, it looks like you've got like a kind of like a like a cool dad tracksuit on, but like a really cool one, you know? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's going on up top. You know, I don't know if that's like wax on my head if that's hair yeah it does know. look like a melted candle on your head yeah or yeah. maybe you have a nice five o'clock shadow is that like i know you in real yeah. life you have not that? really no it's funny like if i do decide to shave if i can be bothered um i have like a bit of a baby face you know a fat baby face um and it takes a long time for my five o'clock shadow to grow like it takes a couple of days for it to get there 
I will say I pulled up your stream earlier this morning and you yeah. look very shiny like in a very like exfoliated way no well I'll tell you what happened today um yeah. it's something that hasn't happened in a good old while I exercised today and oh. then when I got back from exercising I took a shower and for some reason my body just decides to shine like a diamond after I've done some Whoa. physical exertion yeah so what uh what kind of exercise did you do just went for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's good. That's it's start. better than nothing, right? That's I mean, right. this lockdown has been brutal. I just haven't done anything. I just I, it. and now with Tarkov as well. Jesus Christ! I'm I'll tell you anything. what. Don't don't sleep on walking, man. The other night, I was I went to my wife. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go for a walk, and it's like 7:30, and it's like pitch black where I am right now. When it, and, right. and she's like, kind of looked at me and like, really? I'm like, yeah. And I went for like a 45 minute walk. Like it's good. It, it walking is. is underrated. It really is. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I don't really want to exert myself any more than that. So, <laughs> you know what? I, I I walked. I walked with my wife. She had an appointment, so I walked her to the appointment. Because where we live is kind of small. Everything is like within walking distance, which is pretty that, nice. That's so cool. Yeah. So um. So I walked her there, and then uh, I made sure I brought my headphones with me so I could listen to a couple of tunes on the way back uh, and walk oh, at my own pace. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you know this, but my wife is uh, pregnant, so... Um, I did see a tweet, congratulations. She's not. She hasn't slowed down that much, but still, like, when I walk, I want to walk, you know? Like, and she was like, uh, I can't really keep up with this pace, so I had to slow down a bit. But then on the way home, I was, like, blasting at my own pace, listening to a couple of tunes. And um, I listened to um, your favorite new album that you probably haven't listened to yet. I bet you can't guess which one. Um, the college dropout. No, no, I listened to Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band by the uh, Beatles. Remember, I, I told I you my, to listen to. Yeah, I got my sips list, and and my sips list is Ted Lasso and Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Submarine. I'm, yeah, I that's got the both one. Those. Yeah, right, right. So as soon as you hit them up, you're in for a big surprise. It's really good. I finished Ted Lasso for the second time, and I've now started watching The Expanse. Have you ever seen that? I have not. I'm no. not. Are you the into sci-fi at all, or? Yes, but he, my thing is, is that I think we might have talked about it a little bit. If I'm watching something, it's gotta, it, it, I gotta be able to get my wife into it too. Right, and, right, right. And sci-fi is kind of like a no-no, but like yeah. something like Cobra Kai, which have you seen? No, Cobra I Kai? heard that's the Karate Kid thing, right? Yeah. Did you ever see the movies, the Karate Kid movies? Yeah, of course I did. Yeah. Did you so, realize that um, the Karate Kid himself, like in the first movie, even? He looks like a 12-year-old kid, right? Yeah. He was like 25 when that movie was filmed. <laughs> That's weird, eh? Yeah, you know, it's some of us I'm not joking either. Kid. Look it up. No. He was like he was like 25 years old. He's just one of those those guys that just looks like a kid. Even now, he's like in his 60s. He still kind of looks mm. like a kid. It's really weird. Yeah. I mean, yeah. genetics, I guess. Some people are just like that, I guess, eh? Yeah. Some of us can get shiny after we work out, too. <laughs> That's you know? true, yeah. I thought Joe Pesci was going to be a bit like that, but I saw him... Um, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I saw some of the uh, Irishman. He looks like a, a raisin. <laughs> He's very, <laughs> very old-looking now. Does not look like a, much of a child anymore. Why do you think he stopped? Like, he was in so many good movies and then just vanished. You know yeah. why? Well, I why think he's just kind of typecast in the end, right? I think everybody, I think after Goodfellas, pretty much, everybody just expected him to be the guy in Goodfellas, right? So anytime yeah. he was in a movie. But to, having said that, though, he was the he was one of the uh, wet bandits in Home Alone. Remember that? Yeah. So my movie. wife was telling me that that movie was not big at all. And then she watched some, like, behind-the-scenes documentary. And then, oh, the uh, was it the movies that made us that one? Yeah, I think that was so. really and, good. Yeah. And then they said they they hired this big guy to do the score, and then that was like the game changer in terms of, you know, making the movie you know go from like an average movie to what it was well, today. Well, also the movie itself was uh, they nearly canceled it because um, they just like I think they had a change in management. So like the movie was commissioned, they started like working on it they had a really small budget and um they were they were starting to film it and then i think this, this change of management happened and the new guy came in and said this movie sounds like shit and is probably not going to make any money so i'm canceling it um and then a bunch of the guys that were working on the movie self-financed it and uh went to a different studio 
and because um, they thought you know it'll it'll do well or at least we we still want to work on this like we got all these people together to start working on it and they and they made it happen and it turned out to be one of like the top grossing films like in cinema history i think called yeah. the first home alone because I, I don't know if you remember when it came out but i remember it being in theaters around the same time as uh jurassic park the original jurassic park and uh i think the teenage mutant ninja turtles movie those three movies i remember from being a kid were in theaters forever like years and years they were still in theaters and like back then it didn't they didn't really re-release stuff back to theaters right like Mm -hmm. you just sort of like it was new stuff or or and that was it but with those i just remember them just staying in theaters for super super long time maybe i'm wrong about that but no i mean i i remember like i think the first movie i saw that i was like excited for because in first grade i saw i knew like i was leave i don't know if i was leaving school early but later that day i was going to see ninja turtles and it was like the biggest deal in the world and then, oh man but i don't remember if it was like out forever but it feels like it was yeah you know? yeah it was it was a pretty big one too the live action one it was crazy wasn't it i remember yeah. being so fucking excited for that <laughs> sorry part of my uh, french but do you remember just, the first movie you ever saw in theaters um i think it was when they re-released uh, one of the star wars movies i think i went i think like my mom took me to see it with like one of her friends and their kids sort of thing wow. but so we, were, we were movie pretty you young yeah pretty that's young awesome. yeah it mu- i must have been like maybe six or something like that i think i think they re-released a bunch of star wars movies back into theaters like in the mid 80s uh, that was probably one of the ones i saw yeah so you're gonna say something about ninja turtles and i cut you off the Transformers movie I went to see in the theaters. My grandma took me to see it, and we had to leave early. I started to cry at the end. I, that's how young I was. Because uh, Optimus Prime dies, remember? Is it a cartoon? Yeah, it was the cartoon movie oh. of Transformers, but Optimus Prime dies at the end. And I was, no. like, inconsolable. I couldn't <laughs> stop crying. Yeah. I never saw that movie. You never saw it? Oh, my God. No. Do you ever see the G.I. Joe cartoon movie? Yeah, of course I did. That's With like twisted, man. Like Cobra. Yeah, yeah, when you see Cobra Commanders like Serpentor and all that, yeah. it turns he's turns out to be a snake underneath. I mean, his attitude is that of a snake as well, so I wasn't <laughs> too surprised. But you know, yeah, no, the GI Joe. I used to love GI Joes. Holy crap! I had tons of them. Like that was like my my big toy when I was a kid. Dude, I remember class. Christmas, birthdays, everything. That's like all I get. It's really good. Do- do you have a favorite one that you remember? Snake Eyes. The, uh, I the ninja. Like he was, I feel like he was hard to find. He was, yeah. He was one of the, the more the more sought-after figurines, I think. And then I, I would watch the... They had a cartoon. like I feel like an after-school cartoon. And yeah. I can always hear... I can still hear Cobra Commander's voice in my head. It was like high-pitched, kind of squealy. Yeah, the well, Cobra menacing. Commander's voice was uh, the voice actor for Cobra Commander was also the voice actor for like uh, one of the Decepticons and Transformers and like every other cartoon in the '80s as well. I think there was, I think basically in the '80s for cartoons there was like ten voice actors and they did everything, like every show pretty much. Um, so Cobra Commander's voice you would have heard like in all sorts of different shows as well. Isn't Cobra Commander a Barry Manilow song? No, I don't think so. I mean, it could be. <laughs> Not that I'm aware of, though. You imagine Barry Manilow made a song called Cobra Commander? I don't think so, somehow. <laughs> um, were you around for He-Man? Like, was He-Man... I was just going to say, like, maybe what G.I. Joe was to you, He-Man was to me. I was yeah. big into He-Man. He-Man was pretty good, right? Did you have the... um? What, what was the guy with the... He had like all the different faces. You could like spin them around and yeah. have like a different face. We I were think just he... talk... Yeah, I had. I mean, I think he had three faces, and he was like purple and orange, I believe. Yeah. But we were just talking on stream last week that I would, you know, I'm like, hey, I want to buy a Stankor new in box and just yeah. smell it. Did you ever have Stankor? Stankor? No, I didn't. <laughs> I don't Stankor. think I did anyway. Stankor was a skunk based E Man <laughs> villain. Right. But it had a really unique smell, and I'm like, man, I haven't smelled that in 30 years. I bet if I smelled it, I'd remember all these things about childhood. So I'm like, all right, let me go on eBay and buy a new in-box Stankor. And it's nice. like 300 bucks. I'm like, no, I'm not going to pay 300 bucks for a smell. But Jesus. Uh, maybe I'll buy a used one. But my thing is, if you buy an action figure from the 80s, not new in-box, you think it still has the smell? 
Um, probably not. No, if it's yeah. not, if it's if it's kind of new, but it's not in the box, I think I feel like those toys will have absorbed like um, whatever surrounding house they're in, and uh, and most <laughs> uh, in most cases, it's like forty year old virgins' houses, which probably <laughs> smell a bit gross. So I would I go for a boxed version of. <laughs> Of any toy, I think. I thought you were gonna. <laughs> no offense to versions, by the way. I mean, I know we're not allowed well, to make. Whoa! Well, I can't it's be a, a part of this TOS. It's a big TOS violation, but I'm just saying, like that is like the target demographic for unboxed uh, action figurines from the '80s. I think. I think. I'm assuming. You, wrongfully, you, maybe. Do you have any of your original kids' toys? Or are they? No, all I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't like that. Like, um, I was the kid who was too cool for toys when I hit like 13, 14 years old. And uh, when I was 13, 14 years old, I got into uh, cards, baseball cards, hockey oh. cards, like all that kind of stuff. And to finance my newfound love for cards, which I got to say did not last very long. I was a very fickle um, child who just got into things and then didn't really see them through. Um, I um, I sold all my old toys at a garage sale. So like I just, uh, all my GI Joes, everything I just sold like at a garage sale for for money so I could buy more cards. Do you think they're in, in someone's basement right now that just yeah, TOS absorbing, no? yeah. yeah, absorbing some big TOS smells? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I mean, I think I think it was just other neighborhood kids. I mean, I was selling them for like, you know, a nickel each or something like that. And in the end, I thought it was a good trade. Like all of my childhood toys for like two <laughs> packs of cards. Because, <laughs> you know, when you're like 12 or 13, you don't really understand that kind of stuff. But that was all right. But then after after like, so I collected cards for a bit and then got got kind of bored of that. But then it was like, by then I was like going into high school so it didn't really matter you know what I mean it was just like I was just hanging out with my friends or whatever and and all that kind of stuff so it, it was fine like I didn't I didn't miss it but yeah no I don't have any childhood toys and I my parents like moved from where I grew up and stuff as well I don't think they have any of them either so there's just like no trace of my childhood anymore pretty much <laughs> well there, there it is it's just in some guy's basement huh? yeah it's in some strangers <laughs> weird creepy <clears throat> basement uh where the only uh <laughs> the only activity of a sexual nature that takes place is uh, uh solo you, uh, i guess <laughs> yeah too, too much information sorry um do you, do you collect anything now do you have a collection of anything are you into um, anything i don't no i'm not into anything like that i don't really have a collection as such i have some uh memorabilia from like blizzcon and stuff when i used to be really into blizzard games and go and i used to go to blizzcon and, and stuff like that but that's about it like i have like a kind of like a you know like a youtuber or streamer shelf like in my garage where i have you know stuff that's been sent to me or stuff that i've just sort of accumulated over time do you have anything like that well, I was going to ask you, is that like, has that been put in the public? Like, because I would want to see your shelf with your cool stuff on Yeah, it. I think so. I mean, I don't know if it's been updated. There's lots of books and DVDs now. I have many, many copies of The Mummy, the the movie The Mummy. Why? Um, I went to a convention. Uh, do you know Jesse Cox? I know of him. I yeah. think I met him once with Mathis. Right, okay. Um, so I went to, um, actually, you know what? I think, I think the last time I saw Mathis was at CoxCon, which doesn't, it, that, so Jesse Cox has his own convention that he used to do <laughs> called Thanks CoxCon. For Thanks for um, clarifying that. But it's in, uh, it, he, he has it, he, he has it in the UK and there's a whole story behind why that is. But, um, I've, I've been so to you it. Could go. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So he's invited me to go twice now. And the last time I went, we did like a, <clears throat> it was like a stage show Q&A where we were talking about just all sorts of stuff. I think like the sort of idea was we were, cause we didn't know how old each other were, but we kind of assumed that we were around the same age. We had to give each other clues and guess how old each other were sort of thing. So we were talking about a lot of movies, TV shows that would have been on after school, toys, like much like the conversation we're having now. Mm -hmm. And um, we started talking about the movie, The Mummy. And um, I said that I'd seen it, but I wasn't like a huge fan of it. And but he was like, he was saying that he loved it. It was like one of the best movies, and everybody like in the crowd were like saying the same thing. And I was just kind of saying it's okay. I don't remember it much. I think I've only seen it once or whatever. Um, 
And then a whole bunch of people somehow, just like out of thin air, it seemed, uh, procured DVD copies of The Mummy. Like, I don't know if they just went to the store quickly and bought them or what, but that day after that show, I was hand given like eight copies of The Mummy, (laughs) which I have uh, occupying the shelf right now. So I have like the special DVD edition and a bunch of other versions of The Mummy now on my shelf. Okay, so I, I get when someone, one person hands to you, like, oh, thank you. When the, like, seventh, eighth person handed it yeah, to you, what, did, well, what was, did you say to that person? I was just in disbelief. I couldn't believe it. I was just like, how are you guys finding this many copies of The Mummy? It doesn't make sense. Like, <laughs> it's an old movie, right? Like, that shouldn't even really be stocked anywhere. Like, I was just, I was, I was kind of surprised. Hey, did you try to cook up rotten flesh? Um, <laughs> what? Maybe? <laughs> that is gross. I mean, who's well, gonna eat I'm, that? It's tough times right now. I don't, it's you know, true. Yeah, we don't have any food. Um, we could we could try to plant a farm if you want. Yeah. Maybe get some bread going or something. I feel Wait kind of bad right now because the the one thing you told me to do, you're like, hey, don't leave chunks. Yeah. Of, of tree, there's chunks of trees, so I'm trying to I'm trying, trying to tidy to up. Right yeah. We well, don't want to see any trees around here anymore. Like the idea is eventually. This is going to be a booming metropolis with all of like our dumb. Oh shit! There's a child chasing me. You seen this? Oh, yeah, I got oh. a good view of it. Fuck! He hit me once too. Um, with everybody's like uh, dorky, weird Pee Wee Herman houses that uh, that are that we're gonna all make, right? Everybody's. Ooh. We'll give everybody a plot of land and just say, build something beautiful, a reflection on you, and um, it's just gonna be a lot of like. Uh, Penis shaped buildings, I guess. <laughs> Probably. Is that what yours is gonna be? Have you have you put some thought into it or are you just Well, gonna go... I was gonna make like a big tower that's gonna be kind of like I like a tube sort of cylinder shape. So I guess it's like almost like that, yeah. Mm. Oh, I did you ever get into a... Magic the Gathering? No, I never did. Did you? Yeah, you went after the stream today, just Google um the card Ivory Tower from the revised right. set and then okay. Maybe you could, uh, I think if you align your, your Minecraft building with that, I think you'll probably knock out two birds with one stone. Ivory Tower, okay. I'll yeah. do it. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'll do a faithful, miniaturized reconstruction of it, you know? Just It'd be like very impressive. Yeah, that sounds pretty good, actually. Um, I was going to ask you something about, uh, what was I going to ask you about? I think it was on the topic of like kids shows and stuff. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah. I mentioned Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. Um. Do you um? Did you ever watch uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse or anything like that when you I were... was I was big into Pee Wee when yeah. I was a kid, and right. I would regularly have nightmares. I don't know if you rem- rem- remember this, but there's two things. One, I to this day the movie I will cover my eyes during Large Marge. Yes. But I, I, I just, yeah. like I'll watch anything. I just I can't get myself to watch that but during the show like Pee Wee had a show uh-huh. I think it was Saturday morning there was this guy he was like a huge head with a big nose and and like a mustache coming out but he would just had feet so it was like a huge face walking around with feet uh, I, I think would, I remember yeah yeah and I would wake up every like so often and just be like in a terrified sweat and because I thought that guy was coming to get me yeah, do you know what? I have a sit- not that guy. I don't remember yeah. him very well, and not actually from Pee Wee's uh, Playhouse. But do you remember Sesame Street, nineteen eighties Sesame yeah. Street? Yeah. Do you remember Guy Smiley? Remember he would like play the piano, and uh, and every once in a while he would just like flip out and start hitting the keys like with his head and stuff. Do you remember that guy? Uh, I think I'm confusing that with the the baker from the Muppets, but I would yeah. have to see a picture of him. Um, I don't know if I can find one for you, like, right away, but I'll get one for you eventually. But anyway, he would play the piano, and then every once in a while, he would just, like, kind of flip out and start playing the piano with his head, but, like, quite violently. But they were Muppets, right? It didn't matter. That w- that one was the one for me. I would I would leave the room screaming, apparently, as a child, <laughs> every time that guy came on. I just couldn't couldn't deal with it for whatever reason. I don't know. Maybe he was just, like, too much or or something. No, the Sounds Swedish like chef that. I was fine with. Um, it was just just that. My son, funnily enough, I don't know if you guys get. Did you, do you guys get Teletubbies over there? Is that a show that's on TV? Um, Have you guys it, ever seen it? It was. I, I mean, I, it was way after when I was a kid. 
Yeah, no, I mean, do, like your kids, yeah. like, would they would no. they have watched that or no? No, my my, no, that's like no. old. Like that's older than Barney, isn't it? Or no? Oh, maybe I don't know. I just oh. like I know over here. There's sometimes they they show like older shows like every once in a while, like classics, mm. you know, like on kids TV. But uh, on Teletubbies, they had this vacuum cleaner and. He was just like, he's just a vacuum cleaner that had eyes and like the hose for the vacuum cleaner was meant to be like his snout or whatever. I don't know what it was. He was like harmless enough looking, but my, my son would be screaming, crying every time it came on, like <laughs> I mean, on it the sounds TV. terrifying. He hated it. Yeah. Was, I don't know why. Like there's nothing. <laughs> I love what you've done here. This is nice. This is a really nice addition to the town hall. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, God. Really sprucing the place up. <laughs> look, at, look at this. <laughs> It'll be better. It'll be better. Yeah. Oh, my well, God. Um, well, quickly before... I got to go in like five minutes because I'm in... Yeah, um, I'm playing Among Us with uh, Hafu and them today. But um, I, if you're around like this time regularly, like we should just like hang out for a bit and play some Minecraft. Like I'm uh, with it, man. Start. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, I just wanted to ask you, how's your Tarkoving going before I go? You know, it's been going really well. It's I, I've, I've been enjoying it. I actually played for the first time, um, like not on camera, right. Friday night, and I'd never done that because you know what, with I mean, uh, with Apollo and Steve and them. Yeah, and I think like, I must have just missed you. I was playing with them. I think probably right before you you joined, but because of the time difference, it's probably just worked out that way sort of yeah thing. it was just a lot of fun because i play so much solo where i'm always going to get up against two to three sweat lords it was nice to be on the other side of that for once you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we'll have to play some of that too man yeah for sure i played uh, i was playing with um with jp last night um just like in the e i wasn't streaming i just joined him like while he was streaming it was like late in the evening for me and um we were i i killed a guy I one tapped him with a with an SKS without mm -hmm. a scope or anything, just iron sights. Like I just I took in like a really sort of like rough and ready rig because we we're just doing some quests and stuff. And uh, I one tapped this guy kind of accidentally. Like I meant to shoot at him, but I didn't <laughs> realize I was gonna drop him. Went to loot him, and he had like three million bucks worth of stuff on him. He had like the sweatiest sniper rifle I've ever seen in my life. Like you can't even buy it on the flea market. Hey, it was like insane. For you for you and like because i'd never really done it like how, like playing a game not on stream like for me like was there's just something different about it i don't i just it was really enjoyable i don't know yeah. like do you find that like I, i'm used to it i play like in the evenings like i i still game heavily like after after my wife like goes to bed and the kids are asleep and stuff i just come back out here like and 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 game into like the early hours in the morning anyway so like Tarkov I've been playing recently, but before that I'd play like Path of Exile or um, whatever Rust. We used to play a lot of Rust. Like there's just like I've got uh, like different sort of pods of friends that I can play different games with and stuff. So it's like it's just like over the years I've just like created this sort of network of like gamers. <laughs> like <laughs> some of them I do content with, some of them are just people I know from you know playing WoW or whatever. But like it's. It's it's just good to have all that because I like I still like gaming a lot like not yeah. just for not just for streaming and stuff like in my spare time too not yeah. that I'm any good at it I still suck really bad but <laughs> no I, I mean it. I could definitely do this like before show stuff but before we go um, anything so what's the next move like um, if I pop in here what do you want me if to you do pop out? in here yeah. you I mean obviously it's gonna be running 24 7 you're welcome anytime like just do whatever you want you don't even need to be streaming it or whatever it's just it's a server that we can use for whatever right like we can yeah. do what we did today have a chat just build some stuff if you want to fart around in your spare time hop on um just do what you want it doesn't matter honestly like uh, my idea for this is because the spawn point is around here was just to clear it out and make it easier for people to spawn in so they'll see stuff you know like and not just be out in the woods in the dark you know getting killed by creepers and stuff mm -hmm. but if you want to build something else here go for it we'll just I, I can i can move the spawn points around and everything no, no. it's no problem so this will be like town hall then and we'll yeah i think so yeah okay. i'd like maybe just like a, some sort of like atrium or something you know where you start and then there's just stuff around available and then you know potentially later we can connect it up with some minecart tracks or like you know roads or yeah you like that i like i see you shaking you're you 
the planning. You like the planning? <laughs> I'm I'm a big like if you just put like the skeleton frame, I'll fill it with all the guts. You know, all right. But, yeah. All right. Yeah, good. Well, I mean, we're, we've got a couple of people like in now, but we, you know, if you know anybody that wants to join or whatever, and yeah. likewise, like if I like I've got a couple of other people that I've like asked to join and stuff. So, you know, it might be a good opportunity to meet other people or ignore new people or whatever you want to do, <laughs> you know? Cool. All yeah. right, Sips. Good luck in right. Among Us. Uh... Thank you so much, Dan. I'll talk to you uh, soon. It's a pleasure as always. All right. See you, man. All right. Peace, man. See you later. later. Bye. Um, I better go. I better jump into this um, Among Us lobby. Man, Dan's a great guy, eh? They're just like so easy to talk to and just uh, just a pleasure to hang out with, right? Look, he's still on there right now. Maybe he's going to continue on. Let's do a little bit more building. Yeah, no, he's, he's a great guy, yeah. We'll get some more people in on it as well. I feel like we did a pretty good job. Do you know what I like?